mic is now working. Yes, we're here. We did it. Look at the chat. Just look at the chat. And I, got, I put you guys on slow mode. I put you guys on slumber cat. And you literally are typing so fast. Uh, I enjoy it. I love it. Okay. We're at the official Omori Stop AAPI Hate fundraiser. I can't believe we've done it. I can't believe we've got this done. It's going to be a huge marathon. And I'm going to be saying all throughout this, head to Tiltify. The Tiltify link is pinned on the chat. Tiltify link is in the description. That's where like everything's going to be going down. So first I've got a statement to read from Omicat. Hello, fans of Amori. Thank you for joining us on our Stop AAPI Hate fundraiser stream. This cause is one that is personal to me and the team. The majority of us on the Amori and Omicat team are of Asian descent, born and raised in the US. Growing up, many Asian Americans and Pacific Islanders experience racial discrimination. At school, at work, the street, from strangers, from peers and even from our own families. For some, the discrimination has even escalated to horrible violence. There are times when these situations seem hopeless. There is so much that is wrong with the world and it can feel like it's all too much to handle. But even so, it is important that we try to express compassion as much as we can, to be kind as much as we can. It is important that we continue to believe in what is meaningful to us, to try our best to better the lives of others, to provide for those who need our help and to continue believing that these efforts will change our future for the better. Fans of Amori, new and old, we cannot thank you enough. None of this would have been possible without you. Because of your love and support for Amori, we were able to accomplish our dreams and better our lives. We would now like to use this opportunity to better the lives of others. Thank you. So, what is going on tonight? You guys have already donated seven hundred dollars so that's amazing thank you we love you and we've only just started the only thing that is open right now is the poll which is just like a tip jar poll for who's your favorite character i have voted i'm not going to tell you who i voted for let's see who's winning at the moment let's have a little look uh let's check the tiltify so you go over there you, you click polls Guys, Hero is in the lead. Hero, this this thing will be going for the whole um, for the whole event. So we'll see who is the best character after all. Now we've got some milestones, which I will bring up and show you. First milestone, we're very close. Bowen Waters Basil. Second milestone. Bowen reveals his skincare routine. Do you guys want to know that? Look, my skin is nice. I think you guys are going to want to know that. Okay. Uh, next, Bowen shares the My Time water story. The My Time water story. Now, what could that be? I guess you will find out. Okay, after that, Bowen releases his special mixtape. So this is a uh, selection of songs that are unreleased, unfinished demos, different things like that, that I've either played in streams or like little things I've been working on. And it's gonna be a folder of them. And anyone who's donated, if we get past that goal, it's going straight to your inbox. So that's the special mixtape. Next, we've got Bowen Performs My Time. It's a song, I wrote it. Um, I guess you guys want me to play it live. Uh, yeah, maybe, maybe it will happen, maybe it won't. Uh, the next milestone might be my favorite. Bowen works out with Pluto. That's all I'm gonna say. That's it, that's it. Um, after that, if we raise, I mean, firstly I'll say nobody's under any obligation to donate anything. The whole show will just go on and it will be very fun, but if we do end up making 
$30,000 for charity. I will play the bad ending and I will see what has happened. And then our ultimate goal, the 50K, um, Bowen and the Omicat team sing good morning. All right. So that's what we're working towards. Now, do you guys want to know what we are doing today? Ah, uh, oh wait, I've forgotten something. Oh my God, ow, ow, my computer is getting a uh, virus. It seems like there is a poster and sticker set for this event, which is um, taking over my computer. Bow, 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 bow. And that is available on the Omocat shop, I think. I should also say that like working through Tiltify, we don't touch any of the money. It just goes directly to the charity. So even if I'm like pure sus and you wouldn't trust me with charity money, you don't have to worry about that. It, it doesn't go to me and then I send it on. I wouldn't trust me either. So you guys are fine. All right. I think that's enough of an introduction. And now I can show you guys what oh, I've it has just been announced. We've reached the first milestone. We, <laughs> we will be watering Basil tonight. Okay, thank you guys. All right, let's see what is on the agenda. Now, look at this. This was like the best idea and I'm so glad that we made it. So this is our map. This is our schedule for tonight. It's a very loose schedule. I'm thinking five hours, but hey, who knows? Let's go through and I'm, uh, this is me by the way. I'm just making my way through. So what do you guys think is gonna happen here? Um, I'm just chilling here. I guess I'm sitting on a rug. Maybe it's a rug making workshop or there's hero there. Um, also, uh, Mary, there's a wobbly jelly. What, what do you guys think is going to happen there? Um, I'm seeing picnic time, mukbang time, picnic, rug. I'm seeing some people say rug. It might be the rug workshop. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay, a date with hero. It could be wobbly jelly. Pizza party. It might be a pizza party. Okay, moving on. Okay, look at this. Look at this. Okay, this is the best thing that we've done. I can turn it around. Now I'm walking this way. Okay. Next is... I think that is Basil right there. There's some lovely sunflowers there. Some books on the floor. Um, and uh, I think maybe we're going shoe shopping with Basil. Or what do you guys think? What do you guys think in the basil? Water basil I'm seeing. Yeah, we will do that. Uh, pizza, people still say pizza party. Flower boy. Um, water. <laughs> Read poems, someone said. Could be poetry time. Poems. Gardening. Oh, I'm seeing gardening. Okay, I'm going to really need to put on like incredibly slow mode. Let's try and go to super slow mode because I can't even read these. All right, how about 20 seconds between each message? Save. Okay, this is the real slow-mo cat mode. Okay, let's open the chat again. Oh, it's still fast. <laughs> okay, well, I think you guys know that we're probably gonna be going shoe shopping with Basil. So that spoiler is over. Flip horizontal. Let's keep going. All right, now here we are at a, uh, some kind of um, cactus. I don't know who this guy is. Um, I guess we're just chilling out with a sprout mole. Um, there's like a, some kind of placard. Maybe this is like a protest with like making placards with rocks on it. I, I don't know what that is. People saying rock shop. I don't know what rock shop is. Pet rock, Hector. Who's Hector? Okay. Pet rock trade. 
Uh, I think it's going to be the uh, Kel protest. All right, moving on. Here we go. What do you guys think about this old little place? What might happen on this stump? Maybe it's, um, you know, that's like a, maybe it's like an ancient Scottish sport where they like throw those logs. We could be doing that. Um, or maybe it's, what are we doing with Aubrey? Painting with Aubrey, it could be painting. Um, deforestation, yeah, it could be deforestation with Aubrey. <laughs> fan art, yeah, might be fan art. Drawing contest, drawing bunnies. You guys are saying what you see. The fans of Catchphrase say what you see. It's right, but it's it's good, but it's not right. Okay, moving beyond the stump. Hey, it's this guy again. I have a feeling we'll probably be doing gymnastics with this guy. Anyway, moving on, and we're moonwalking back. Oh, hello you. I think this right here, what do you think? This right here is a door salesman. I think we're probably gonna be going door shopping because I'm seeing a door, I'm seeing a cat. Maybe it's like a cat adoption center. Um, I don't know, what do, you, what do you guys think here? This guy, this guy's wearing like pajamas, maybe a pajama seller. Fake doors, yeah. Door shopping, white space, whatever that means. <laughs> okay, carrying on and spinning my guy around. This is basically like a game. We've created a game. You guys are watching me play it right now. Uh, this guy's just chilling, chilling with stones. Okay, moving past him. Ah, now what is this? Seems to be some kind of blue mailbox. What would happen in a blue mailbox? I guess we'd like, um, send birthday gifts to people. Um, you guys are all saying fan mail. I'm not sure if it's that. Okay. Now this guy's looking cool. Do, 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 do. All right, we keep going. And finished. We're here, hey, we did it. Or did we? Guys, I feel uh, some kind of cold energy coming from this strange hole. Um, uh, what, what do you guys think? Um, uh, it's a long way down. Do you wanna jump? Uh, uh, I don't know. I, maybe I'll just, maybe we'll just finish the journey here. Um, so that's what we're doing. Let me just go back around. I think you guys have no idea what we're doing tonight. All of those guesses in chat were completely wrong. Now, officially, we are going to begin the event. Okay, now I need to get changed.
Whew. Okay, I'm, that was a long journey. It was a long journey, but I finally made it to Mary's picnic. Let's see what happens at the picnic. Hello, everybody. It is I. I will be your server for tonight at the picnic. Now, please take a seat. Um, I also am, I'm, I'm getting on my... Uh, I'm getting on my thing that we've... We have raised $2,377 so far, and we're at the first section. Now, okay, welcome. Welcome to Mary's Picnic. There are three courses and one bonus course, which you can unlock on Tildify. Now, let me just tell you what the courses are for this four course meal. Course number one. Tasty soda. Life jam on toast. And candy. Course number two. Apple juice and tofu, which I can't be bothered to pick up. Course number three. This is these are dino clumps, and this is an entire chicken. Now, the things that you can uh, unlock on Tiltify are one, oh, it's microwave steak, and I really microwaved it, and I really might die. You wouldn't want me to do that, would you? You wouldn't vote for microwave steak, would you? And there is also toilet ramen. Now that's a lot of sodium, heals 80% of hearts. So, you guys, if you head over to Tiltify, which is on the pinned comment, and you look on targets, then you will see both of these targets. But hopefully I don't have to eat either of those, because I'm going to be so full. But let's start with the first course. Now, it's a bit of a tradition on my streams that we do what is called a dinner check. And it doesn't matter what meal it is, but you always just call it dinner check. So I'll find out in the chat, what have you guys eaten so far today? What are you eating? Because I'm eating, I'm eating um, sweets, uh, some toast, and this soda. Okay, I'm seeing sausages, chips, pasta, uh, a pizza, nothing, breakfast, pizza rolls, burrito. Okay, now... <laughs> I can't read that. St okay, steak. Uh, I saw pad thai, I'm sure. Bagels, McDonald's. Everyone keep writing it down. Keep writing it. Keep writing it. Okay, spaghetti. I saw spaghetti. Tamales. Uh, I ate eggs and pancakes. Uh, bagel. All right. Maybe it's time for me to start eating because I've got a lot to eat. Now, I'm a bit parched, so I'm going to start with the soda. Um, no sponsor here. Actually, actively anti-sponsor. I don't like this brand. I'm not going to say it out loud, but I am going to drink it. Mm. Ah. So this is supposed to heal 50% of my juice. Let's see, huh? Okay, I think it's time to tuck into um, some of these sweets. Now, I think you guys... I see a lot of YouTubers like... Ooh, we're gonna... <laughs> Someone said on the chat he hates it. Um, I see a lot of YouTubers talking about British candy. Now, I bought this from a supermarket called Sainsbury's. And they're called Clear Fruits. Let's see the Clear Fruits. They look like this. Do you guys think that looks tasty? Some kind of lime see-through thing. Okay. Mmm. Mmm, that's crunchy. Mmm. I'm seeing mixed reviews in the chat. It's that one episode of Simpsons where um, they go to London. And 
this guy is like, oh, do you want to try um, some British candy? Are you sure you can handle it? But I don't actually really like sweets at all. I don't call it candy. I call it sweets. So I'd appreciate it if everyone in the chat called it sweets so I could understand what you're talking about. But um, <laughs> someone said, is it normal just to bite it? Um, I am normal, yes. And what I do is becomes what is normal. Now this right here, this is a drumstick. These are legendary British sweets. And uh, I'm just gonna like munch into it. Oh, it's really hard, but you can't bite into that. Okay. <laughs> That's enough of that. No more sweets. I don't like sweets. Although, the one sweets... When I bought these sweets, I was like, God, I don't like any of these. But, you know, I'll just, I'll just eat them anyway. But the one sweets... One sweet that I did buy, that I do like, is called Strawberry Laces. These are strawberry laces. How quaint. Just look at them. Oh, I'm, I'm getting an update that the skincare routine reveal is unlocked. Thank you for your donations, everyone. Okay. Strawberry laces going in my mouth now. Mmm. Mmm. What do you guys think of the strawberry laces? Someone says cursed spaghetti. Uh oh. I'm only on course one, but microwave steak has been unlocked. You guys are so cruel. Well, I'm going to be very full by the end of this. Mm. Okay. The final part of course one is it's the it's the life jam on toast. Let's eat it. Guys, what are your favorite foods? This is kind of like a starter for kids, I'd say. The soda, bit of toast, sweets. What would you have in your course one? pizzas in the chat. Mm. All right. I think it's time to move on to course two. Let's get these away. Goodbye, you guys. Course two is apple juice, apparently better than orange juice, heals 25 juice, and tofu, soft cardboard basically, heals five hearts. Now the tofu was the thing that I cooked the nicest. I like, a few hours ago I was in my kitchen and I was just preparing this whole uh, situation. Someone says, wait, is Bowen really going to eat a whole chicken? I think I am. Uh, okay, let me get the tofu and the apple juice. Okay, apple juice right here. Now this is tofu. I added a little spinach, some ginger, some garlic, and uh, and it's cooked in soy sauce. And um, and what has just been deleted from my head? I don't know, but I'm going to eat this. Guys, guess what I did? Guys, I don't have a fork. Guys, I need to run to my kitchen. This isn't a covert bathroom break, so the toilet counter is still zero. 
And before I go to get a fork, I will also announce that Toilet Ramen has been unlocked. Um, all right, let me just get a fork. speed run all right so yeah I cooked all of this stuff myself I will have you know even the sweets even the toast so here is some delicious tofu let's uh, let's have a bite mm. This tastes good. I'm proud of myself. Mm. Do you guys like tofu? Can you guys explain to me what the tofu fundraiser is? That's something in the game, right? But I don't think I ever did it. I saw some people on Twitter saying like, oh, are you doing a tofu fundraiser? In effect, this is a tofu fundraiser right now. Mm. This is yummy. Oh, I shouldn't forget about the old apple juice. Now, guys in the chat, write down the number of gulps you want me to take to finish this. Okay. So, if you are, uh, in how many sips can I finish this? And I, I want some generous, okay, I'm seeing 15. I'm seeing a few ones, but okay, let's see. <laughs> I'm, I see a seven, I see, oh, okay, someone typed out four. Guys, I'm gonna do it in two. You ready to watch me do it in two? I did it in one. There we go, okay. And now, if that doesn't make you vote for Hero in the Who's the Best Character Contest, I don't know who will, because I'm Hero right now. I'm Hero in the future, where he's finished culinary school, and um, he's got his own restaurant, and he's just come from work, that's why he's wearing a hat, and he's riding this motorbike. He's like, oh, hey, Mary, let's just have like a picnic with some of my leftovers from the restaurant. And let's, let's eat some more tofu. I promise everything that I'm saying is absolutely canon. Look, I'm in, I'm in a Discord server with like all of the like Omori people and we just chat about, you know, the future, the history. So I know everything and I'm absolutely right. I think it's time to move on to course number three. This is where things get serious, okay? Because we have not only dino clumps, which are chicken nuggets shaped like dinosaurs, which heal 250 hearts to all friends, but we also have an entire chicken, wings and all, heart heals 175 hearts to all friends. So let me go get those things. I'm not feeling full at all. I feel fine. May I present to you a chicken?
and also they actually have dino clumps in uh, in the UK because um, Omori is set in Britain and all of the characters are British. Now, um, I actually have to take a tablet before I eat any dino, uh, dino clumps. Yeah, that's what they're called, right? Um, because these dino clumps, believe it or not, they're full of milk. And I have adult onset lactose intolerance. Therefore, I'm going to take a tablet. Now here's the real sponsor. These are, I don't know if you can see, they're super lactase enzymes, milk and dairy digestant from Holland and Barrett. These are incredible. Um, so <laughs> I'm gonna take one of these. I'll take them all. All right, I need some, uh, I need something to swallow this down. Okay, I am defended against lactoids now. Here we go, let's try a dino clump. And actually I've got some sauce. My favorite sauce. This is a uh, gochujang. So, we're gonna, we're gonna dip it. Chat, do you think this looks tasty? Mm. You'll never guess who sold me these tablets. It was Polly. You guys know who Polly is, right? You're real Amori fans. Polly is a major character and is incredibly sus. Mm. This is good. I like kind of tried to flirt with Polly at the pharmacy, but it didn't really go anywhere. Okay, let's move on to the chicken. So, Amori um, lent me his knife to carve this chicken. Did I say carve? I meant stab. Now, how much of a whole chicken do I need to eat in order for it to effectively count as I've eaten a whole chicken? Because this is actually a lot of food now. And I've also got a steak and ramen to eat after this. Okay, this is a large clump. All of it, eat the bones. Everyone is saying all of it. I mean, if I eat the whole thing, when I do the uh, Pluto workout, I'm literally just gonna inject so much protein into my body. Mm. Mm. What's your giant chicken is so good. thing is, I won't throw up because the Pluto workout, if we get there, will be literally four hours from now and I would have fully digested literally everything. Mm. Mm -hmm. I want to show you guys something. So look in the top left corner. This is when the lac lactose comes. This is when I'm sad. This is just neutral. But right now, we are set to happy because we are eating. Uh, <laughs> uh, how are we doing on the um, favorite character poll? Who is winning? Who is winning right now? I know you guys are okay about that. Rasa saw. Oh, Basil is in the lead. 
for you guys just this once I'm gonna say basil but that means nothing to me that's a, a strange word that just doesn't exist in my mouth Do you guys enjoy listening to this ASMR? Does it gross you out? I don't mind ASMR. I once watched this ASMR called Babble Brook Inn, where it's like a role play of going into this ye olde inn and then um, this woman kind of just like talks to you and is like oh welcome you've been on a long adventure you must be tired um, that's my favourite ASMR I wanted to have some narrative as well you know <sighs> okay now I, I am feeling very full I'm going to take one more big bite of chicken and then we are going on to the bonus course, which we have unlocked. Which is microwave steak and uh, toilet ramen. All right, here we go. Someone on chat said $900 in toilet ramen. People really wanted me to eat it. Mm. Okay. Delicious. It's time to move on to the next course. Let me delete you guys. Now. I didn't think we were going to do it. But... It's happening. You guys remember in the game that the ramen comes out of a toilet. Well, let me just show you a little something. Um, guys, it's official. I don't want to spill it, but look at this. It's literally in a toilet. It's, it's very nice. Can I tell you guys the truth? I, uh, I ordered this ramen from a Japanese restaurant in Greenwich, not too far away. And um, it's honestly so delicious. It's the nicest thing here. Um, because I didn't cook it. But, um, yeah, it's a, it's a vegan ramen. Let's see, the more I drink, the more I can show you because if I, if I tip it, it's coming out. I know, a fork. But I didn't want to do another kitchen trip. This is the guy who's like, guys, you know what? I can use chopsticks. I'm just choosing not to. Um, okay, this is really, really nice. 
Okay, look, you can have a good look now. It is canon that um, I don't know how to use chopsticks. Except I do. Just self roasting. Mm. Okay. Guys, what? What? Is that a steak? That is a microwave steak. How gross. Let's cut it up. This was the thing that made um, Sunny throw up, right? Hey, it looks okay. Right, guys? Right, guys, you try it first. You be my servants, okay? Wow, look how HD that steak is. HD steak reveal. Mm. <laughs> Everyone's saying no, no, no. Hey, you voted for this. There's no take backs. Hmm. I have an incredibly sturdy stomach. I'm an incredibly healthy person. When have you ever heard me say, oh sorry guys, I'm sick. When have I canceled a stream because I'm ill? When have I ever canceled a show because I'm ill? I'm never ill. I can handle this microwave steak. Guys, put trust in me. I'm literally so powerful. Mm. This is nice. Someone said hashtag built different, and I agree. Hmm. Okay, look, we've been at the picnic long enough. I think it's time for us to move on. Should we leave the picnic? Should we see what else is coming? All right. I think it's time for me to um, hang my chef hat and let's go to the next zone.
Ho ho ho! Here we are! At the old Basil's shoe shop, are we? Okay, guys. Get yourself ready for what's in store next. Next up, we have... <gasps> what do you guys think? It's me, Basil. Hi, guys. Um, we're here. We're here at the poetry reading. You guys have submitted your poems. And they're kind of incredible. I thought they were fucking amazing. Um, and so it is absolutely my pleasure to read some to you. Now, it's time for me also to remind you that we have two donation challenges here, which will result in me reading some of my own poems. And it'll be very embarrassing if I have to read my own poems. They'll like make me cry. And um, yeah, yeah, there's two poems that you can vote for to hear, but I don't want to read either of them, okay? Don't make me do it. But I'll read you guys' poems. No. Mm. I think, so this segment grew out of um, my Amori streams, where every time we did a uh, sad poem, not bad poem, Every time we did sad poem, we read a poem. So, here we go. I'm going to change my emotion to sad. I'm going to read these poems. So, poem number one was submitted by Foop, and it's called Person. People ask me questions, yet the answers are unclear. In their tones, I hear confusion more than anger. Is it greedy to want them to be as angry and frustrated as me? It feels as if heavy weights are stacked upon me, as if my body is swimming, then struggling in cement, as if the hands on the clock have melted together, as if their silence is embracing me with cold arms. The person at the front of the cell mindlessly tosses out white sheets, no, regra no regard for how demoralizing 30 questions can be. And when the moon rises, the worst thing is how much and how is how it is so much more painless to not utter a single word what do you guys think let's see your reactions in the chat to person by foop that one made me sad to not utter a single word next we have one day Yes, everyone in the chat is crying. Everyone's saying depressing, so beautiful, sad, I love it. Um, this flower is very heavy and it wants to fall out of my hair. I gotta keep it in. It was a really beautiful poem. Okay, next poem is One Day by Male Strong. Let's see what they did there. One day we'll meet again and take that drive we never did. And on that drive we'll talk and say the things we never said. And in that talk we'll bawl and shed those tears we never shed. And in those tears will fall to rise again on wings prepared. I like that one. Also a sad poem. Maelstrom. Okay. In this next... Um, Oh no, wait, 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 okay. Um, what did you miss? What did you miss? How much did you guys miss? I don't know why it just randomly did that. Okay, how much did you guys miss? Let me start this poem again. So, okay. <laughs> Apologies to Brady. So, as I was saying before, in this poem there's one word that I'm gonna censor, I'm not gonna read it out, but you guys can see it. I'll just make a, a pause at that moment. Um, and this one's called Pencil Crayons. So, we're back on. You guys can hear me, right? Yeah, you guys can hear me. Okay. 
All right, so. I grew up thinking that there was only one skin colored pencil crayon. There was only one in every set. My options were the porcelain cream or just to color a messy amalgam of yellow, orange and brown. When I was in first grade, I had to ask my mum to stop packing adobo, lumpia and rice in my lunches because the other kids said it was gross. So she sent me to school with sandwiches, just like the other kids. When I was in third grade, there was one other Filipino kid in my class. She had an accent. It felt, it felt nice to have somebody who at least looked like me, who could relate to me, who ate the same kind of things that I did. One day she was crying because people were making fun of her for the way she spoke. When I was in middle school, a kid came up to me and asked if I lived in a mud hut and ate coconuts. Last time I checked, no, I do not live in a mud hut. After March 2020, people who looked like me were told to go back to where we came from. We were bat eaters. We were the Kung flu. We were a virus. It's pretty sad that you call my people a virus, then fail to see that your only plague is your own ignorance. I know you, I hope you know that your words, your labels, your racism is the blood inside of the fists that beat our elderly. It is the ammunition of the nine millimeter handgun that killed eight people who died to a white man who was just having a bad day. It is the factor, the lowest common denominator of the fact that the hate crimes against Asian people have increased sevenfold. Today, I realize that my experiences, though incomparable with the violence faced by others, are the building blocks of the society that let it happen. Because I grew up never feeling that I was normal, rejecting my culture, being called kids pulling their fucking eyes back with their fingers to make them look smaller. I grew up thinking there was only one skin colored pencil crayon because nobody was there to teach us otherwise. I'm really glad that I could have shared that poem. I thought it was really powerful. What's you guys' reactions? Yeah, this one hurt. Damn. Yeah, that was a really good poem. Everyone's saying sad, it was so beautiful. Okay, next poem is Maxim 11101120 by Bunny. My love for you is outer space, infinite and just so vast. Constellations plot the way to what I've sought and found at last. Silver glitter starscapes blur, dark matter holds this place in time. A stained glass snow globe, stardust rain, your voice to me, my heart's wind chime. Time and space hold no bounds for how my love for you resounds. And even stars can bust and burn, but passion still cannot discern how my love for you won't end, how stars in space can float unwhole. These feelings for you exist now, forever etched into my soul. What do you guys think of that one? I was into it. I have just received word that my poem, What a Joy, has been unlocked. Thanks, guys, for embarrassing me. Okay. This next poem is untitled, and the person who sent it wanted to be known as Some French Redhead Girl. So, this is untitled by Some French Redhead Girl. Oh, world, make it snow. Create those sparkles in children's eyes. Make the winter spirits smile, and everything will be okay. Oh world, let it rain, to meddle with our tears when it's tough, to dance alone in storms and laugh and everything will be okay. Oh world, show the sun, for people to look out and beam, take a breath, your feelings and scream and everything will be okay. Oh world, listen to our pleas, oh dear, listen to yourself. Someone will hear you and you will be okay. Thoughts, thoughts, thoughts. You guys will be okay, that's the message of that one. Everything will be okay. That was untitled by some French redhead girl. I'm seeing in the chat kisses from France. Amori reference. I didn't get the Amori reference. Okay, next poem is untitled by Anonymous. They don't want you to know a thing. Here we go. I was done. Done with all the jokes. Done with the comments on my accent. Done with people ostracizing me for what? My skin? the country I was from, done with boys and girls looking at me and thinking, 
She's pretty for an Indian girl. It was time for a change, my stupid brain thought. I was thinking of the wrong change though. Instead of change people's ideas, I changed my hair. Instead of making people see their wrongdoings, I made my accent as non-existent as possible. Instead of loving my culture, I rejected it. Thank you, Anonymous. We have another Untitled by Anonymous. So, here we go. My body, my bones, and all that I am. My blood, my blood in my veins, my feet in the sand. Waiting for the tide to come and take us in. Waiting for a time when we can try again. My mind and my heart don't tell the truth. They bitter and they fight, it's all that they do. And they yell so loudly I can't hear anything else. I could be a flower, I could be a tree. I would become anything as long as it's not me. I could be a garden or I could just be dirt, but I will become anything so I don't have to hurt. I made a list of things I wish I never had. Pass them on to someone better. I hope you understand that I'm not worthy of your kindness or your love. So watch me as I'm born again, rising high above ground. I will be a flower, I will be a tree. I will become everything, everything but me. I will be your garden so I can hear your words long after I'm dead and gone, buried in the dirt. Okay, we've had some hard hitting ones. We've had some, some sad ones, but we're gonna turn it round now. This next poem is an elegy by Wally B. Wally B, are you in the chat right now? Wally B, make yourself known. Because um, this was a very entertaining poem. All right. I shall read an elegy. In the early morning, when I awake, there was a meal I simply required. I hungered for my daily egg intake, for no other breakfast had I desired. Eggs are delicious as you would have thought, and there's no food quite as comparable. However cooked, whether poorly or not, I can tell you no egg is terrible. Alas, I could not truly enjoy them, for you see, I possess an allergy. When I realized things began to look glum, my passion for eggs, was it meant to be? This shelled protein in which I so admire, it was forbidden love, fried by fire. I laughed out loud when I first read it. Second time reading it, I didn't laugh. Oh, I've just received information that um, uh, Wally B is not in the chat. And also my other poem, Giant's Footprint, has been unlocked. Thank you for your donations. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I love that poem. An Elegy by Wally B. Okay, next we have another anonymous one. I guess you guys are pouring out your hearts and you don't want to be known. But we appreciate you pouring out your hearts, sending these all in. So here we go. Watching the ocean. I could sit here, right here, and watch, just watch, the dark lines shift into white, creating foamy waves that swim to the shore, layering over the black sand, pleading to go on, longing for infinity. The night and the water melt into each other, even if they were never really meant to be. The water is angry. It punches the mountains down to pebbles and pebbles into sand. And on the horizon, bright amber illuminates the hills. The waves continue no matter what. The stars smile when the waves calm, peacefully allowing the water to be mad once again. It's okay. The stars say in the wind as it travels across the ocean. It sounds like thunder. Even if it does, I could stand here for hours quietly examining the darkness as my drunk brother sleeps in the car the day after his 21st birthday. My dad out looking with me, getting high and calling his friends while I write this note. I want to jump in and let the waves claim me. I wish to quell their anger with my own. The lights on the horizon begin to dim and fade. I think it's time for the night to go to sleep. What do you think of that poem? That was a great poem watching the ocean yes the dad got high i can't say whether i endorse that but we're reading untitled by delilah now thank you delilah my 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 delilah now this is a beautiful one 
with a um, very elegant writing. When I first heard the willow winds, I thought I had been dreaming. Their ghostly echoes sought my sins. The whistles turned to screaming. I must turn back, I must get home, before wood takes me whole. The thunder cracks, ablaze the brome, the willows find my soul. Lost in trees, the darkness haunting, entangled in the green. Heinous please, the willows taunting, no longer to be seen. Okay. I've not said some of those words ever before. For example, brome. But I loved it. Yeah, I'm seeing someone in the chat say, you guys are really talented. These poems are great. These poems are great. Okay, speaking of great, this is a fun one. It's called The Trance of the Sugar Fairies by Ebony. Now, I'm going to take a big breath before I start this. Scattering sugar frosting. Petite sugar fairies spread their fluffy wings as of foam in latte, and sweetest of hair, fairy floss, floating fleece, as white as marshmallow on frothy hot chocolate, as they flap over fleeting memories and poor molasses, and sugarcoat forgotten feelings, faces shimmer, magical sprinkles, little stars over paranormal palaces, the climax of their glitter glazed feasts simmer, innocent trauma struck eyes, inevitable sacrifices. Their tiny blood-covered hands feed macabre licorices. In the cauldron of unmade sweets, bathed in blood, boils old carcass, unidentifiable, grotesque, maniacal, I stare down into the cracks and voids, droughted flood of your unmendable mind. Lunacy becomes the magical. What do you think of that? I just kind of went into a bit of a trance there. And that was The Trance of the Sugar Fairies by Ebony. <laughs> ah, that was a really good one. All right. What do we have next? Untitled by Spencer. Hello, Spencer. Are you in the chat? Spencer. Spencer, make yourself known. All right. So, midnight. Sleeping on the fluffiest clouds ever. A small chocolate bird dreams. In this bird's dream, he visits his grandmother's house to bring her food. He arrives. In the room, his grandma sleeps. He leaves the food on her coffee table and leaves. He wakes up from the dream. His grandma chirps. You see it a little twist there? You see? You, yeah, you see? You see what's going on? Okay. Guys, I think we're... we're oh, oh, we have another one before I have to read my poems and you guys have to see me be really embarrassed. Okay, the next one is Struggle O'Clock by Arsenalaras. Here we go. Someone said Grandma Bird confirmed? I think so. The time was Struggle O'Clock, like it always has been since it rained. This time you chose to knock and the whispers start to fade. This time you got to your feet, despite how hard it trembled. Before, your hands were freezing cold, but this time it was pleasantly warm. This time you were brave, and you left Struggle O'Clock behind. Well done for leaving Struggle O'Clock behind. I think we all want to leave Struggle O'Clock behind and be brave. Now, 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 now. Uh-oh, it's my poem. All right. I shall read this poem to you. Um, can everyone in the chat say, be brave, we love you, um, we're not going to judge you, and then I'll read it. Okay, thank you. <laughs> All right, okay, I'll read it. <laughs> Not quite. What a joy by me. What a joy, how amazing, to break down in your arms, to be finally held. And what a disaster that this feels new. What a joy to be hidden, sitting by the edge of never being found. We've also unlocked my other poem. 
Giant's footprint. I did it, I did it, I was brave. Okay. Giant's footprint, by me. Skillet's imprint, mind fried, and plenty of sad young men. Giant's footprint, unfading, persistent. The ground never returns there. Don't tell me I'll be buried here, curled up in the enormous indent. My whole entire world in a giant's footprint. Yeah, that was also my poem. So, we also have a final poem from the um, Omocat team. This one's from Rochelle. Uh, so let me just read this. I like to look up in the sky and watch geese fly by. Okay, thank you, Rochelle. That concludes <laughs> yeah Rochelle's in the chat Rochelle brackets manager uh, emoji of a uh, wrench well done Rochelle it was beautiful let's read it again I like to look up in the sky and watch geese fly by very lovely well guys we've done it each segment We've hit the targets. Um, we're nearly at $5,000, which is pretty amazing. Um, we are now leaving Basil's shoe shop. We're getting out of here. We're going to the next zone. Well done, everyone. Thanks so much for all your submissions. Oh, we've just hit 5K and we have unlocked the My Time Water Story. What the hell is the My Time Water story? I guess you'll find out later. Okay, thank you everyone. Let's go back to the map. We're going to a place called Pet Rock Sanctuary. I wonder what that is like. Here we are. Guys, I just went to the forest and I, I, I got a rock. Um, and I've kind of been looking after this rock for the last um, few days and we're really bonding. Um, just me and the rock. And uh, I kind of thought that um, maybe, maybe you guys would also like the company of uh, a pet rock. I don't know, maybe. And maybe if you came to the Pet Rock Sanctuary and paid a small administrative fee via Tiltify, um, 
then maybe you might be able to adopt a rock for yourself. Um, what do you guys think of my rock? Um, I haven't actually like I haven't actually named it yet. Maybe you guys could give me an idea for what this rock should be called. Look at the face and um, kind of go off that. think hmm I'm seeing what are people saying what I'm not seeing any names Get, he, no it's it's not really a Hector I don't think Emma someone said Emma Larry Daniel da, uh, <laughs> Diablo no that's that was Pablo and Devin one after the other and I my brain turned it into Diablo Chad Lil Bo Stuart Rock uh, Sebastian, Barnaby, I'm seeing, Jerry, John, Jimmy, uh, Herbert, M M Mungo, uh, I met a guy called Mungo recently, Emmy, Gerald, Nicki Minaj. All right. I think I'm actually going to go with Diablo in the end. It's going to have to be Diablo. So me and Diablo have like a kind of amazing bond. And uh, I'm going to show you a little advertisement video for the Pet Rock Sanctuary, where you will be shown rocks that need a loving home. Now, I will tell you that if you are in the US, these rocks will be shipped to you, if you for, in order for you to look after them. If you are outside the US, you will be sent a framed picture of your adopted rock. I don't make the rules. Now, you guys are gonna have to head over to Tiltify Go on the rewards tab or keep refreshing until the rewards tab comes up. And that is where you can not only sponsor, but adopt a rock. Now let's watch the ad. Welcome to the Pet Rock Sanctuary. Did you know 99% of rocks are lost alone without love? Well, here at the Pet Rock Sanctuary, we aim to give rocks a loving home. So adopt today, please. The first little bundle of joy is called Danger, 127 million years old, found inside a bear cage. It explains their tough exterior. But with a lot of love, patience, kindness, you'll form an unbreakable bond. Just no pets, no children, please. Let Danger rock your world today. Next up is the adorable Blue. 500 million years of age, they've been through a lot. Used as a paperweight for the other world's space pirates, Blue just wants to be loved. They're a little shy around other pets and cannot be trusted with children. But if you have a nice fireplace and promise never to wear an eye patch, I think you'd be a perfect parent for our little Blue. Let Blue rock your world today. Next up is Cheese. At 425 million years old, they can be a little grouchy. Our staff work tirelessly to rescue Cheese from the quicksand in Orange Oasis. Is your home air conditioned? Cheese would like to move in with you. Although this lovely little rock is good with children, please no sand pits. Let Cheese rock your world today! Coming in with a royal flavor, it's Harry. This extremely charismatic rock was rescued from their job at the last resort. Now unemployed, Harry is looking to play video games and eat snacks. Good with pets and good with children, you'd be foolish not to let Harry into your home. Please adopt Harry today. Next up is Mabel. Will you look at those eyes, so adorable. And only 15 million years old. There's a lot of room for training and tricks. Mabel was rescued from a spider web in the Pyrefly Forest. We are looking for a carer who can protect them from insects. It won't be me, I'm scared. Mabel gets along well with other pets and is especially fond of birds. Let Mabel rock your world today! This next silly little rock is called Goose. A young rock with lots of love to give. We rescued Goose from Sweetheart's dungeon. If your home is tidy, warm, secure, let Goose loose a boot your hoose. Next up is Milk. If you can't handle lactose, close your ears now. Milk was found at the bottom of the Everworld ladder. One billion years old, milk may crumble any day, but for pet owners looking for a short commitment, you found the perfect pet. Good with children and other animals, let milk dilute the tea of your heart today. Rescued from a puddle in Raintown, it's Max. Please, sir, pass me a towel. 
523 million years old and soothed by the sight of umbrellas. Max is full of character. Though they can't live with children or other pets, low humidity bachelors, please apply within. And let Max rock your world today! Everybody loves a gambler, it's Duke. A young little lad coming in at 32 mil. Duke is looking for a hype house to hibernate in. Love brands, labels, rocks. Roll the dice and adopt Duke today. Next up is a rock of quite some pedigree. You know him, you love him, Baron the Baron. 10 million years old, so much life left to live. After being rescued from Sweetheart's romance game show, Quest for Hearts, Baron the Baron is not looking for a relationship, they're looking for a parent. Brew some tea and be that parent today! Next up is Luna, does this rock love good? There's only one way to find out. Found under a bunch of trash in the junkyard, Luna would like to be valued. No more banana peels, just hugs, love, company. Luna is 41 million years old and can live with other pets and is great with children. Let Luna rock your world today! Our next adorable pet rock for adoption is Freckles. Rescued from being one of Marina's experiments, this rock will need an experienced rock handler. If your name is Brock, you will be fast-tracked. Just remember Freckles is a little shy around sharp objects and other pets. This challenging yet rewarding rock could be yours today! Full of tricks, Trixie! Particularly good at roll over and play dead. This rock was rescued from the Pyrefly Forest. Their ideal home is a mobile home with no other rocks. The gorgeous Trixie is a little possessive and loves to be loved. Will you love Trixie? Today! Next up is Jasmine, coming in at 12 million years old and found in the scorching orange oasis. But don't look back in anger, Jazzy Jasmine fills their iPod Nano with Miles Davis. Their ideal home is a quiet suburban neighborhood. Pets yes, children no. Let Jasmine rock your world today! Finally, we have the lovely Riley rescued from the mouth of a bunny. My fingers are still bruised. Their ideal home would be one without any pets. Riley has lived on this earth for 170 million years. Will you help Riley live 170 million more? Adopt Riley today! Oh my goodness me, I was muted for a moment, but... It looks like you guys are going to be feeling the joy I was feeling when I adopted Precious Diablo. That went very quickly. Um, the advert wasn't even over, guys. You didn't even have a chance. You didn't even know who you were adopting and you adopted them. That's the spirit I like to see. Now, there will be three more rounds of uh, pet rock adoption. Um, we just can't get enough of it. And uh, so don't be, um, don't be upset if you haven't got a rock yet there will be some other moments now wow okay that you guys really bought those rocks i think it is time to head back to the map Whew. now this next little situation we're getting into is going to be very interesting and also I need to go to the toilet so you guys can mark this down as my first my one toilet break in the five hour slot
Okie dokie guys. Now, this is the bit I am most nervous and excited all at the same time about. This is the painting segment and I am your artist. It's me, Artist Aubrey. The, <laughs> it's me, generic artist. You see, I got you guys going with like the cosplays each time. Like, okay, I'm this character, I'm this character, I'm this character. Then you think I do Aubrey, but actually I hit you with generic artist. Beret, apron. I got, I got, I got, uh, I got the pink shirt on. So take some of that. Here we go. Now I've got a bit of explaining to do. These, these paintings, I'm doing one of each character. First off, you can read it. K-E-L, it's Kel. I'm doing Kel. What else am I doing? I'm doing Hero. Yep, there she is, it's Aubrey. I'm also doing Basil. And Mary. Not to mention Omori. Now, um, how this is going to work is the top, how many, how many is there? Six. The top six bidders in the, the whole live stream. Oh, the camera did freeze. The top six bidders will, um, let me reactivate my webcam. Da -da -da -da, we're back. Okay. So, so the number one bidder will get their choice of which one they want, and it will be shipped to them wherever they are in the world, signed by me, and they can choose whichever one they want. Number two gets to choose whichever one they want other than the one that's already been picked. Yeah, the original. Number three, so so on and so on and so on. And then the last person, number six, gets whatever is left. So let's hope I'm good at both drawing and painting. So yeah, that is uh, what's gonna happen with those guys. Uh, and we will just, you know, we'll, we'll email you guys at the end. Um, whoever is like the top six by the end. And also in this segment, there is gonna be a custom wallpaper designed by Omocat. Do you guys know who Omocat is? Kind of a cool artist. Um, and this wallpaper is gonna be free for everybody. So the, the paintings, yeah, it's an auction. It costs money if you want these paintings, but the wallpaper is free. The way that we create the wallpaper is via something called a Mad Lib. Guys, do you guys know what a Mad Lib is? You Americans, I think you know what a Mad Lib is. So how we're gonna do that is, there is gonna be a new poll set up. And um, basically there is like a sentence. It's like a blankety blank. Do you guys know blankety blank? So it's gonna be like, let me, let me read you an example of what it is. So, ah, a day, and a day it was, on this lovely day in blank place, and then there you have four options which you guys vote for. We observe name, which you vote for, sporting a charm. Oh, music is loud, let me turn the music down. Um, and name equipped with a charm, playing with toys together, at the picnic. So it's, it's gonna be a kind of community decided, a democratic vote. And it's, it's a $1 a vote for you guys to design that poster together. And at the end of the stream, we will we'll get the final designs of who's where, doing what, with what, wearing what, taking where and blah, blah, blah. And it's gonna be into a big custom, um, wallpaper so without further ado i will begin the first drawing who shall i do who shall i do i think i'm going to start with hero
Okie doke, so... Ay ay ay, let's get a little Google image of Hero on the screen. And Hero Amori. Now I've got a um, new PC, hashtag thank you Omicat. Um, my streaming PC, uh, I by default my search is Bing. So I'm not on, uh, I don't search Google images, I'm on Bing images of Hero Amori right now. So let's see. I'm gonna go for something cute. Hero looking happy. Okay, that's good. All right, so let's let's sketch it out first. Nicky dokes. So Hero's got that lovely hair, right? Uh. <laughs> Oh yeah, there we go. That's Hero's hair. Don't forget the face. That kind of spiky Chad chin. Little ear over here. His big understanding eyes. Those eyes that have been through a lot. Nose. Oh, camera. Fr you know, this camera is not my friend. I'm just gonna have to keep reactivating it. And then a lovely big smile. Let's see these eyes. There we go. How's that looking? Oh, the, the neck, the neck. Now, I'm not officially an artiste. I'm not your Rococo. But... I like to draw, I like to paint. Let's give him some big Chad shoulders. What do you, <laughs> what do you guys think? Uh, it's all about the lines. That's what I've learned. Oh, he's looking very slender. Hero Slender Man confirmed. Let's get the buttons going. Hmm. Let's get some hands here. You know what? Should we put a let's put a um Oh freeze again. Let's let's put a, a, a spatula in his hand or something. Oh this arm looks very wonky. Hand. And. Frying pan. There's the frying pan. You love to see it. And he's just going to be pointing. It's the classic hero point. Now is the great bit. Now we get out the paints. Testing the cam. Testing the cam. Yes. All right. Um, okay. So, move the drawing a little to the right. There we go, now you guys can see the little frying pan. Um, let's do it. When you're painting, you need water. You also need paint. I'm using acrylic paint. Okay, let's do some blobs. I'm gonna use this paintbrush. Yep, okay. A little bit of water. Okay.
We are back from the freeze zone. The ice caps are melting, but my camera is freezing. You know, I'm going to go on Amazon and give this a terrible review, this camera. So now I'm just going to kind of be slowly painting, painting these guys. And uh, this is going to be the kind of relaxing part of the um, stream where we just, you know, you can dip in, dip out, make a tea, go to the toilet, um, you know, come back in an hour and I'll still probably be doing Hero. And um, remember that the top six bidders are entitled to these original paintings, which I am trying my hardest on. So. All right, let's do the pajamas. The camera freezing is actually a um, relaxing feature that reminds you to take stop e stock every now and then to just breathe, to just close your eyes and, oh, did I say that out loud? Okay, let's do the pajamas. Now they're a nice kind of a pastel blue, right? blue but with lines of something else. What are the lines? Oh, you, you guys are saying that I'm gonna... <laughs> I'm going to paint through to the other papers. Okay, okay, okay. I can, I can do it. I can do it. We're fine. I've moved them. I've moved them. Okay, I've moved them. <laughs> Thank you for your begging. I, I have heeded your advice. I need a bigger brush for these pajamas. A little bit too big. Now, this is a nice size. Now, let me just take a moment to defreeze the webcam. your favorite character you might want to put a little hero vote in the who's the best character poll as I'm painting hero right now and I'm just appreciating everything about hero his heroics his cooking his stern face which did I say stern his smile in the face of adversity a good egg. Hero knows how to cook eggs. How do you guys take your eggs? I do like a fried egg and I also like scrambled. And we are frozen once again. Let me just deactivate and reactivate that. I'm trying to make this freezing the most relaxing thing that you've ever really encountered. So now we've done the pajamas. We've got a nice little wash of blue going. 
I think I need a thin... Oh, people like scrambled, people like fries, people like cheese eggs, people like raw, people like sunny side up, people like boiled eggs. Omelette only. So, okay, I'm going to do the lines now. What colour are the lines? Let's see. Uh, okay, so it's kind of white with blue lines. So I'm going to do blue with white lines. See how that goes. Uh, you guys like smoothie eggs, you guys like uh, raw scrambled eggs, boiled egg shells, bow egg, eggs with cheese on toast, sunny side up, egg dog is best, omelettes. And now, okay, let's see, let's get some, let's get some white paint in here. Bought these from an art shop a little while ago. You guys use these kind of paints? These are acrylics. Okay, now I do believe it's time to do the hero hair. Hero's hair, okay, let's see. Here's a lovely kind of, uh, well in the game it's kind of blue. I think it's a, um, let's make it a dark brown. get those flicks in here with these brush strokes. Okay. Oh boy, I'm gonna need a smaller brush. Let's just do the center bit of the hair. And I'll go up to those tight edges with a really small one. I'm looking for the finest little brush in the world. Where are you, fine brush? Damn, all my brushes are big brushes. Let's, uh, let's just try and be delicate.
Wow. This freeze is really something, isn't it? This is more like a stop motion painting. You see one image, it freezes, it unfreezes, it comes back, you see it again the next day. You know what, the hair is, the hair is going great. camera is just simply built different so is, is that is that hero that, that you know what i i'm gonna make a maverick move to, to bring in some uh wow well, the, the the freeze is like down to seconds now i'm gonna bring in some pen details This is multimedia. This is almost a collage. Although I might break my fountain pen. Here we go, here we go. This is looking great. Okay guys, guys, what do you think? What do you think? That looks way better, right? I think that's looking really good. Um, and then I'm just going to go, I'm going to go around the sides, aka the outline. Camera's still not frozen. How? How did this happen? All right, we've just got to do the other side now. He is so handsome. What a gorgeous gentleman I'm seeing in the chat. Might be a world record of no freeze. Okay, guys, I think my hero is done. So I'm going to actually, I need to do the, the, the middle line. Do the middle line. Okay, hero is done. 
and I shall sign this. You ready to witness my signature? There it is. Okay. Number one of six done. Next we shall go for. Who do you guys want me to do next? Let me know who you want me to do next. What do you say? We've got Kel, Mary, you know, you've got Omori. Oh, I'm sick. Okay. We're getting people in the chat. Kel, Mary, Aubrey, Omori, Aubrey, Basil, Basil, Omori, Aubrey. I'm seeing, I'm seeing a lot of Mary. So I'm going to do, I'm go. Oh, there was a Kel, 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 Kel. Oh boy. Who should I go for? You know what? It's swung over to Kelville. Guys, we're going to Kelville. We're doing it. Keenan and Kel in the house right now. Here we go. The sheet has come out. We're going to need some orange. I know that for sure. It's Kel. Come on, baby. Let's do Kel. Okay, let's get Bing images up. Hell. Now I am no longer muted. Okay, we're gonna do Kel. And Kel flexing. Maybe Kel one flex, one bounce. I think I'm gonna go Kel one flex, one bounce. So first I'm gonna draw the arms because that's um, important. So one is flex, shoulders here, flex. Flex. Huge muscle curl. Strange hand curl. And we have had a little freeze, but we're back. Okay. <laughs> uh, and then the other so let's see, how do you how does one bounce? So a little anatomy. Shoulder over there elbow comes back in and the arm is big yeah there we go big arms here and you just got those fingers there wrapping around and look at this speed run freeze activate baby okay <laughs> it really is the um the 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 chad meme but this is kel okay there's your ball and now so if someone was flexing and they're also bouncing, what kind of legs would they use? What, what, what would they, let's see. I think that that's got to be kind of like left foot forwards, kind of bounce stance. So. I'm taking more risks with my Kel. This one's gonna be characterful. This is looking pretty good. This is looking pretty good, I think. Although the ball is a bit squished. Let me make that more spherical. God, I can't draw a sphere. That will have to do. Okay. Um, now for the hard bit. Now we do the Kel face. Okay, so. We've got the neck. I'm going to do these little, these lines. Now, Kel. Kel, Kel, Kel. Let's see. No, too big for the neck. 
Um, can someone who has artist after their name tell me how to draw Kel? What's the best tip for drawing Kel? the music in this um, painting section. It's very relaxing. And I wrote none of it. Okay, that's another ear. When I flex, I feel my best. What are you guys thinking? What are you guys thinking? Someone says give him sunglasses. I don't think he wears sunglasses. Okay. Now with Kel, what you've got going on with Kel is he's got a cheeky side smile, right? Some of these. That's Kel right there. Little dot nose. Now, this is a guy that wants to give you a high five. Kind of like, looks a bit like a skeleton, but that's fine. And we've had another freeze on the webcam. It had a good run. Deactivated, activated, and we're back. Uh, look at this wobbly Cal. Um, all right, I think it's time to start Draw the eyelashes, then do the middle. Okay, I think it's time for us to start painting this Kel. Big brush strokes, ready? Bit of water. Now water is essential in life and it's essential in painting. We are however many percent made of water. And there's a big blobby leg. And another blobby leg. There's those arms. to go into the detailed bits in a bit. And that is that huge bicep which Kel is known for. How many of you guys paint? I see so many people who follow me on Instagram, follow me on Twitter. Like the majority of those people have art accounts. I think there's a lot of artists in the house. Um, and as we'll see later, there's a lot of amazing Amori fan art. But if you guys paint, I want you to say, I paint, me, I, I paint. This is something I do. I love to depict people, places, things, concepts, just play with color and form in the artistic medium of paint. Well, you're not alone. 
You're surrounded by painters in this community. This community who are democratically voting on a Mad Lib wallpaper. I wonder what it will be. Bowen wearing a fedora, high-fiving Kel, while sprout moles dance in the back. Hero slam dunks. Mary spins around. Okay. I think <laughs> Kel kind of looks like a big baby, but that's not completely out of character. Let's see. Like, I thought I was going for buff Kel, but it's kind of given, like, the proportions have made him kind of like that kind of baby physique. <laughs> Where they've got this kind of squidgy, like, little... Anyway. Anyone who gets this is getting baby Kel. So far, if I was the top bidder, I think I'd be like, give me baby Kel. I think I want baby Kel. Not to um, talk crap on my hero, but you know, baby Kel's pretty special. Now we're gonna need an orange, aren't we? We are going to need an orange for Kel's outfit. Guys, what do I mix to make orange? I got yellow. And um, yellow and red, maybe? Oh, this is a tough yellow. Yellow and... Yellow and red, all right. To go, yellow and red. Thank you for your help, chat. Ah. Dun, 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 dun. Someone says baby Kel would look great in like the kitchen or over the toilet. <laughs> Someone says Kel just simultaneously whipped <laughs> and nay I agree. Okay, we're getting a nice orange here. Just needs a little more yellow. It's a bit on the red side now. Okay, so a beautiful ball is coming up. And I need it for the, um, I need it for the outfit too. I need orange for the ball and the outfit. They're gonna have to be different oranges, otherwise it's just gonna look like one big orange blob. Well. You know what, Baby Kel wears a different, different costume. I'm gonna put Baby Kel in a different outfit. Maybe pink. I'm going for pink, guys. Also, you know the quality of my webcam, like these colors are not the real colors, <laughs> okay? I'm going for the pink jersey.
What do you think so far? What do you think? Is it looking good? Painting is very fun to do. My granddad was a painter. And he taught um, painting somewhere at some kind of university or something. I think he wrote like some textbooks on painting. I haven't read them. I paint by instinct, grandfather. I learn not rules. I ask chat how to make orange. Okay, this is going great. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Hair, hair. <laughs> Kel in the pink onesie. <laughs> yeah. um, someone asked if the stream is going to be archived. I have a feeling it will be archived. Um, let's see, Kel's got brown hair. Let's go brown. Kind of like a light brown. Someone in the chat said, my grandpa used to draw turtles and crabs for me. That's very cute. Just on a piece of paper or on your wall, because my granddad painted my walls to be these kind of weird, glow-in-the-dark, scary aliens. They weren't scary, but they were kind of just like weird aliens and a planet. Okay. Dun, dun. Tom M is in the chat. That's Boss Tom, if anyone's been to any of my previous streams. The first guy to get kicked out for being a boss and then made his big comeback. Everybody say hi, Tom. is a good friend of mine and he helped me choose this new streaming PC that I'm streaming from which is allowing me to do like two billion segments and um, not have much lag and he helped me put it together he's a very good friend and now you guys are his friend Does anyone else in the chat also have a friend called Tom? No offense, Tom, but it's a quite common name. My middle name is Thomas. Okay, well, Kel's looking great right now. I think all I need to do is the, um, all I need to do is the outlines basically, but I want to give it a moment so that it, put it, it can, uh, it can dry and then I won't wreck my fountain pen. But for now, that is Baby Kel done. It's a pretty good contender. Okay, Kel goes away. To be finished and signed in a moment. Okay. Let me just do the old freeze unfreeze. 
Now, next up. Um, next up, next up, next up. Who should we do? I'm seeing Mary next, Mary next, Mary next. All right. It's on the piece of paper. Can you read? It actually says IRAM. So I think I'm going to be doing IRAM. You guys know the character Iram? <laughs> Someone's saying Mr. Jawsome. Okie dokie 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 dokie. All right. And also, um, I have a graphic which might help you guys understand the uh, Mad Lib um, thingy where you are voting in the polls to create a wallpaper. Let me just get it up for you guys. I'm doing some uh, live OBS right now in the flesh. You're going to see some live coding. Okay. Boom. Add image. Yes. Add source. I am a hacker. New source. Blah, 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 blah. Add source. Browse. And here we are. Have a look while I resize this. So. This is what the entire... This is the description of the wallpaper. So it's this whole story. And you guys are voting on all the things in the square brackets. And we're going to create a custom wallpaper as designed democratically by the whole Amori fandom via this Mad Lib system or blankety blank or whatever you guys know this as. So, ah, a day and a day it was. On this lovely day in place, and there's a bunch of options, we observe name, there's a bunch of options, sporting a charm, and I know that Fedora is one of the options, and if that doesn't get voted, I, I don't know what I'll do. And name, equipped with a charm, playing with toys together at a picnic. And then it carries on, and at the end of this stream, we shall reveal what you guys chose. Now I will delete this. Okay, so I think that gives you guys a bit of an idea. Now we are going to do Mary. Sweet, sweet Mary. Let's get a little Bing image. Shout out to Bing. I should be using that... Um, already a person Bing images definitely sucks um, let's see so Mary's got that kind of tank top with the shirt and the smile and the really long hair hmm maybe with like a picnic basket or something let's see mm -hmm. oh she's got like a little kind of bow as well interesting okay Let's, let's go for... Seeing a lot of cat girl marry, but... Um, let's go for it. All right. Now she's going to be sat down. This is her head. She's got this sweepy hair. Swoop. It's all about that line work. Shoulders, shoulders a little hunched. Going down into a shirt. Line. And the big hair. Down, up. very long hair so are you guys enjoying this painting segment is it like a like a like a pot of chamomile tea relaxing inspiring artistic moments with Bo and we're frozen again 
We will deactivate and activate. And we're back. And you will see more. Oopsie. Uh, wrong image. Okay. Man, Mario is hard. here going straight down planted on the floor at the picnic Mary is known for her fantastic picnics for all sorts of delicious food there's just a little fold here it goes down here now there's a skirt as well. Pleated, so we have lines. Okay. And we are in freeze zone again. Okay. So this is how my Mary is going right now. Hmm. Okay, okay, okay. I think this one's going to come alive when the... Uh, when the painting happens. The drawing so far is like, okay, you've drawn Mary. But I think color is gonna really bring her to life. So I'm gonna start with, let's see. Start with defreezing this. Defrosting your incredible webcam. I'm going to start with the hair. Since I've got a brush already with some brown on it. And we're just filling it out right now. Someone in the chat said, what's the weirdest pronunciation of your name you've heard? When I went to America, I would say, hi, my name is Callum. They would hear it and their brain would just go like, okay, Caleb. I didn't say Caleb. I said Callum. I didn't say Caleb. But I prefer Caleb over Alan. Calvin would be fine, but not Caleb. Someone says Gollum. Oh yeah, my first name is Callum. In case you guys didn't know that. Bowen is my second name, but it's got a W. Someone said Callum sounds like a flower name. That's nice. I looked up the history of my name. I'm named after Saint Columba. Who came from Ireland. After St. Patrick and a few other saints. St. Columba is up there in terms of Irish saints. So St. Columba came from Ireland and went to uh, what is now known as Scotland before it became known as Scotland. And he was a missionary um, and he was known as the dove of the church. Uh, Columba is Latin for dove. Callum is Gaelic for dove. And he was kind of a symbol of peace, even though apparently he like launched a war or something. Um, and yeah, and then he just like totally brought Christianity to 
Scotland. And that's who I'm named after. Saint Columba. Columba, Columba, Columba. So. I was also born when the... I was born when the Gulf War ended. And so. I was a peace baby. You guys don't remember the Gulf War? Don't forget the war. Bro, if she don't know about the Gulf War. Okay, the hair is done. Let's see, let's see. Hmm. My name is Callum Thomas Bowen. That is my full name. C-A-L-U-M space T-H-O-M-A-S space B-O-W-E-N. So what should we do next? Let's do this tank top in black. Callum is now like a really common um, name in the UK. It wasn't when I was born, but it's getting more and more common. Someone said calcium turbine bones. I'll take that. Someone said, I've got two paintings done while they've only got one drawing done. I think that's, it's very cute that people are like drawing along or painting along. You guys should paint with me. You guys can be a part of this. And send me your, send me your paintings. I want to see your baby cows. If you're drawing right now, say, I am drawing in the chat. Let's see how many people are drawing right now. There's a lot of people drawing. I don't know if I believe you all. I'll just remind you guys that these drawings will get, the originals will get signed and shipped to the top six bidders who will be contacted and they can say what their preference of drawings are. So that's how this bid is gonna work. We're also running a wallpaper, democratically elected community wallpaper situation. It's a Mad Lib. I've explained what Mad Libs are now. Now you get it. And we're just voting on all of the stuff in there, which is on Tiltify in the polls. And another feature of this whole situation is the freezing and unfreezing webcam. It really adds a kind of new element to painting situations. So here we go. Someone says, I'm gathering my art supplies, brushes, canvas, etc., to go and try and paint Mary alongside you. Do you recommend a big or small canvas? Well, Belfi, I recommend a huge canvas. You're going to need all the space you want to um, honour Mary. So, let's see. I'm going to do a red dress next. A kind of pinky red. Alright, alright, alright. OK, 
Okay, my pinky red. It's gonna be like kind of like a fuchsia. Let's get a little, get a little, which is a plant, which Basil might like to water one day. Okay. Everyone, what is your favorite um, plant? I'd probably say, I think my selection is a little bit basic, but maybe a sunflower. Someone said daisies, basil, orchid, Easter lily, hibiscus, ferns, roses, grass, Sunflowers and camellias, plant or flower, magnolia, lavender, succulents, tulip, aloe, daisies, grass, rocky mountain columbine, hydrangea, black rose, lily of the valley, uh, amaryllis, roses, lilies and orchids, I love lavender, sunflower, cactus, uh, snapdragons, cecilias, chrysanthemums, uh, la, 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 the Pikmin flowers, hibiscus, snowdrops, frurong, un onion, spinach, rose, hyacinth, lily of the valley, weeping willows, uh, white egret orchid, cactus, sour sunflowers, holly stock. I've never heard of a holly stock. Eggplant, huh? All right, let's keep painting. Let's defreeze and keep painting. Defreeze and keep painting, guys. All right, so I've done the skirt. And I've done the vest. I've done the hair. I think it's time to do some skin. These are all great flower picks. I appreciate them. I like pansies. a little bit all right now I really have to focus on the old um, arms and face Very nice. It's come along well. It's looking good. Um, let's see. I need to do this little ribbon that she's got. Let's see, let's see, let's see. 
need a delicate brush for this in a moment. I like this music. Where does this music play in the game? Okay, let's just finish off the legs and then before doing the outlines, I think I think we are done with Mary. I would like to thank chat for keeping it spoiler free. There will be a moment where we are no longer spoiler free towards the end and you guys can say whatever you want. Just do the legs. That's Mary. No cat ears. I don't know why. Um, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I think it's time to go on to the next one. Actually, I need to make one little uh, adjustment. Let me just... Just... Uh, I've got a little arm bleeding into the vest. It's just... There we go. Perfecto. All right. That was Mary. Next, we are going for... Who shall we go for? Come on, get your votes in. We've got... Oh, you can't see. We've got big boy, big boy Baz. Basil... Aubrey. And... The one, the only, Amori. I'm seeing a lot of Basil, so I think we're going for Basil. Okie dokie, okie dokie. I'm also going to have myself a glass of wine. I'm an adult. I can have wine if I want to. We are doing Basil. Basilica. No. Okay. <laughs> Someone said you're going to get cancelled on Twitter for drinking wine. I see. Um, we're going back to Bing images. Do you know what happens? Every time I type something, it mutes my mic. But hey, I'm unmuted now. Are we gonna go for 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 real life Basil 
or dream, Basil? Hmm. You see, I wanna I wanna do Basil with the with the one flower. Okay. I'm gonna go for Yes, I'm gonna go for wonderful blonde basil. Kind of hmm. Maybe with with a sunflower. People are saying draw basil with a Brazil flag. Let's see. Okay. So we're gonna have to refresh this little old guy. And let's see how the basil goes. Now, I know basil has that center part of hair, like that. The iconic center hair. And then we've also got the side to the side. And you've got these kind of long, it's kind of like an M. The ears come out, another ear comes out. Yeah, that's what I'm seeing. That's what I'm seeing. Little button nose. Some more hair coming down. Okay. Um... Now, the flower will be in this ear. There we are. There it is. And I am McFrozen again. I'm having a McFlurry. <laughs> I'm getting brain freeze. Okay. Also, let me do something to the webcam's setting because I think there's a little little summon that's going to make it look a bit more clear. Okay, so now you guys can... S it's just a little exposure thing. Let's turn the brightness up. Apply. Okay, that's way worse. Uh-oh, no, that's much worse. Let's not do that. Oh boy. No, I made camera my way worse. Okay, let's go. What makes it look better? Apply. Brightness up. Apply. Brightness up more. Apply. Hmm, it's not really registering. Okay, now we're, we are in black space. <laughs> this is the black space cam. Okay, let's do Basil's eyes. Is Basil smiling? Or is Basil crying? Or is Basil concerned? Basil's gonna have some uh, lips like that. And some kind of, yeah, just a kind of concerned look on, on his face. Basil doesn't smile. Okay. And now... Let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, I'm Basil. Basil's got eyebrows. Why not? And then... I'm going to put Basil in the dungarees. Maybe holding books. Books here. Hands. Let me test. Yes, like this. You know what? Should we do should we do a little let's make this webcam go away forever. Let's just make this the big webcam. And let's just angle it differently. Okay. 
today. Maybe, maybe that's better. Or maybe that's worse because it's upside down. Hey, but if I flip this, I can transform this, this camera and flip you like this. There we go, now you can see. Okay, let me move all of this stuff. Here we go. <laughs> ah. Oh, Basil, what have you done to me? I shall draw your dungarees now. Dungarees, but you're also wearing a you're also wearing a shirt. Let's redraw that arm because it is strange. Aubrey is doing the painting, look. Paint, paint, paint. Brush, brush, brush. Well, let's just paint this. Aubrey is not doing anything. Okay. Now, this segment is 100% the longest segment. I didn't do any practices. I didn't see how long it would take for me to paint six characters. But we've already passed the one hour mark. Thank you guys for sticking with me. <laughs> Someone says, Bowen, will you ever do a face reveal? No, you see, I'm a painting streamer and I only do painting streams. You will never see who I am. I'm kind of like the corpse of the painting world. Joke me, but you hate me. But it... And, um... Let's do these hands right. There we go, there's some hands holding some books. The books are quite big. Maybe they're smaller than that, actually. Okay, so this is Basil. Ay, ay, ay. Let's go for some lovely blonde hair. No, not that colour. I hope you guys are enjoying this painting stream. It is relaxing you. It is easing you in. Maybe you're in America and this is your Sunday afternoon. You're just kicking back. Maybe you had a big Friday, had a big Saturday. Maybe you're working so hard. Maybe you just, you don't want to go into, um, you don't want to go into next week. You just want to bathe in this Sunday forever. Well, I'm here to make it feel like forever. I'm here to keep us painting, keep us uh, just relaxing and breathing and existing and painting blonde basil hair. Or maybe you're in Europe like me. Well, it is 10 minutes to midnight right now. Maybe you can't sleep. Maybe you're just there on your phone, in bed, AirPods in, and you're just tuning in to these painting airwaves, seeing what's gonna happen next, seeing how much money we'll raise, seeing which challenges we will do. 
just trying to enjoy your life. Well, I'm here to help you. Maybe get to sleep. Maybe stay awake forever. Now, we have done the hair. Basil's hair looks like pasta. <laughs> uh, and um, next I'm going to do some blue for the dungarees. I haven't done blue for a while. Let's get a blue going. Maybe I need a new, what's it called? This is a marathon stream. It is, it is coming up to midnight now, but boy, we've got a lot left. We've only sold one batch of rocks. Did I say sold? I meant sent to Loving Homes and uh, paid a small adoption fee in order to adopt them and love them forever. Let's do this nice blue now. Blue like the sky, but it's Basil's dungaroos. Going around the books and just avoiding the arm there for a second. I'm glad we got rid of the um, the other webcam. It kept freezing, it kept annoying me. Oh, there will be more rocks. Just you wait, the rocks will come. That I can guarantee you. I'm also going to make this a lovely um, blue flower, maybe. Ooh, blue and yellow. What does that make? Nothing. Or maybe it can be orange, actually. Orange is a good idea for a flower. Orange is good indeed. Guys, what's your favourite colour? I do think orange is very nice, but um, my favourite colour of all time has got to be green. Any other green fans out there? Blue, yellow, purple, green, 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 green. Wow, you guys really like colours. Let's get in up close and personal. Now that is the flower. Green gang I'm seeing. color should the middle of the flower be so it's got these kind of reddish orange petals maybe it's kind of like a beautiful whitey yellowy kind of color someone in the chat is looking for fellow red enjoyers that's Jasmine don't be shy red enjoyers getting through we've done hero you guys remember hero that seemed like years ago we've done hero we've done Kel who can forget baby Kel we've done Mary someone said I forgot to paint her lips and now we are making headway Hedwig headway flying through the skies with Basil or as you guys like to say Basil Hedwig, Hedwig, bring me a dream tonight. Did 
doing the ears now, that which is needed to listen. And what a skill listening is, truly listening. A lot of people think they're good listeners. And let's see the hands. Hands, hands, hands. Hands can hold a phone. Hands can hold a paintbrush. Hands can cook all sorts of things and use all sorts of tools. Hands make a humanity. Although monkeys can use some tools, can't they? I think we should just let monkeys inside the human category. And just say like, okay, you guys are also humans. Let's just admit it. But we've seen you like crack open a nut with a rock or something. You passed the test, you did it. You know what I mean? Shall I do the book? Let's do the book in a dark blue. Blue book, it's a blue book indeed. Green shirt. Green shirt is a good idea. Blue book, green shirt. Let's do it. Okay, I've got a big paintbrush and I'm not afraid to use it. to do the big strokes. Okay. There we go. Book is done. Now, we need to get ourselves a nice little green going. So, what shall I combine to make green? Is it blue and yellow? Can I make that up? Oh, it's looking green. Oh, it's looking green. Is it? Mm, it's looking kind of turquoisey. How do I make a nice... I'll add a little bit of brown. Uh-oh. No, this isn't working at all. Help, help. Brown and yellow. Blue and... Blue and yellow. Yeah, blue... Blue, blue and yellow. My blue and yellow isn't working. The mixture is off cam, but... I'm sorry, you don't want to see this. Thankfully, I have a green. Let's use this green. No mixing. That's like for level two artists. I'm level one artist. I mix not. I merely use the paint as it comes out of the pot. Now let's do this lovely green shirt. I don't have any green shirts. So I'm going to block it out and then I'm going to do some with a finer brush. I'm going to do the edges. Okay, let's get that finer brush indeed. Hello, fine brush. Nice to meet you. Someone says green is such a lovely color. Green is such a lovely color. There we 
again. Okay, now let's do the old juju juju. Not the they're not called lapels, are they? It's the collar. I was gonna say lapel. But actually I'll need to define the collar in pen afterwards. So for now this is gonna be a green blur. Blur of green. Like the other paintings, when we get the pen out, this is going to be great. Okay. I think that is our beautiful basil. All right. Moving on to the next one. So let's get, really have a look at that. It's me, basil. Hey, hey guys. All right, let's go Aubrey. Come on, Orbs. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. I shall remind you that, um, firstly, something I haven't mentioned, all donations are being matched by Omocat up to $14.3 thousand dollars because one, four, three, baby. Um, so any of your donations are effectively double donations you get half price um and we are at six thousand seven hundred and eighty three and one cent and we are doing aubrey next okay well i could just base it on the um image that i see before me now um this cute little Aubrey over here that my shadow is pointing to. Shadow finger. But I think we should go to... We should, we should, we should, we should... Go to Bing Images again. Aubrey. Oh, mic muted. Okay, let me say all of that again. We could go for bat behind the bat, behind the back pose, Aubrey. We could just like, what would I do with a bat? Hmm. <laughs> what should we go for with the Aubrey? You know, for a long time I thought it was a D in Aubrey. I thought it was an Aubrey. A silent. A silent D. Okay. Let's try this again. problems all right let's see let's 
get my let's get my pencil going. He's doing his best. Yeah, I am. God. All right. Here we go. I'm going to do bat behind her head, kind of Aubrey. So let's get the hair going first. Always got to start with the hair. Oh boy, everything's falling everywhere. a little weird. Let's try, let's try, let's try. How about this? And where is her face going to be? Like this. Upside down, is it? Why don't I right way up that for you guys? Eh? Here it comes, ready? Three, two, one, pew! There's Aubrey. And. It's gonna be. Bat behind the head. Fingers, thumb, hand. Just like this. And there we go. There is the bat. Very nice, very nice. And then we got a neck, shoulders, jacket. And how are we going to do this then? side of the jacket. Sorry, t -shirt. Underneath that. And there is our Aubrey. How are you guys feeling about this? Think about old orbs. That is our Aubrey. And I shall be doing some pink hair. How could I not start with the iconic pink hair? Now my paintbrush has got a lot of green, so let's de-greenify it. AKA put it in the water. I see in the chat we stand a queen. Ah, she's so pretty. Pretty girl, amazing, she looks so cute. You guys are very um, kind. Doing my best for you guys. De greenify. It's a wicked reference. Boom, boom, boom. Do you mind if I de greenify you? All right, we need pink. Where's the pink at? Bit of 
red in this pink because it's a bit too pastel -y. Let's see where we're at now. Okay. Let's try this. Oh, someone says we are so proud of you, Callum. That's nice. <laughs> Fantastic pink. Everyone's freaking out about the hand. I'm proud of the hand too. You know, when I was making the mix for um, the painting section, I thought, yeah, the painting section is going to take a long time. I'll put a few tracks in there. I did not anticipate it taking this long. You could probably play the whole Amori soundtrack. But these tracks are blissing me out. Okay. I think the hair is done. Next, I must do. Hmm. Someone says this dream is free therapy. Thank you, Bowen. You are welcome. I want to do her. Mm, the jacket's going to be hard because it's going to be got to got to do some fiddly stuff with the hair. Maybe I'll wait for the um. I'll wait for the for the hair to dry. Let's do the black t-shirt. jacket hey we just hit 7k nice good going everyone all right someone in the chat says your work belongs in art museums thank you chris escobar you are absolutely correct um 7k pog indeed okay so she's got a Kind of sailor jacket on, right? Is that the hood? 
I think it's basically white that's got the little trim, the little yellow trim. Trim there, trim here, and it's kind of got the, 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 the red here. I'm wondering if this is going to make sense. for some white now. Let me get some more of this. Okay, this is ending up as a pink jacket. She goes with the pink hair because she loves pink. Check it on, yeah, baby. She got a pink jacket on, she's feeling really good. washy now just to fill it out a bit it's getting a bit blotchy when i was doing too much paint not enough water that's a little pro tip for you gamers now we've got to do the top <laughs> let's see let's see let's see the top part of the jacket which if we observe bing images it is a kind of brown red. So let's let's go for that. Let's see how that goes. This brownie red. Oh, who stole my brown? Here it is. also want some red in it everybody so I gotta get my red as well all right we are mixing we are mixing let me show you I'll mix it up here no you can't see uh, I have to mix right up here for you to see This is, this is our brownie red. So, okie dokie, let's go for it.
Okay, now we've got to do the bat. Let's do some kind of yellowy, yellowy brown. It's that kind of oak wood bat that all of you baseball fans know all about. I've never really played baseball. It seems hard to hit the actual ball. They throw it so fast. You just got to swing and whack it. Any baseballers in the chat? Little league? Big league? Based ball? Based ball, based baseball players? Talk to me. I want to hear from you. Uh, someone says, I don't play sports. Little league, medium league. Basing your balls. Basil ball, huh? Played baseball a few times. Oh, Morphe Guts is good at baseball. Okay, Aubrey is very nearly done. And then we have Omori. That black tank top wearing dreamer. Yes, we are saving the best till last. You are correct about that. Ah, lost library. We're back again. Lost. Who am I? Please. Tell me who I am. You're in the lost library. Okay, we've also got a blue bow to do. Let's get a blue bow going. A B-O-W, not a B-O. Guys, we started at 9 p.m. my time, and now we are 25 minutes past midnight. Let me do some calculations. One hour, two hour, three hour. Nine, ten, <laughs> three hours, 25 minutes. If you've been here from the beginning, oh my goodness, thank you for sticking with me. We've got a lot left. We've got so much more left. But this is definitely the uh, longest segment. Who's been here from the start? Okay. Aubrey temporarily complete all right everyone's saying me i've been here from the start i've been here from the start i've been here from the start well i recognize you and i appreciate you 
Here we are, the final painting. So, let me just remind you guys how this, this is, this is Bob Ross's relaxing painting corner, but this is also a serious art auction where the top six bidders in the entire um, fundraiser will get their pick of these paintings. They'll choose their favorites. So you'll be contacted after this. Um, so that's a big incentive to donate, donate, donate. Um, we're drawing a Mori now. Okay, it's a Mori time, baby. I fi okay, I finally learned that I mute my mic when I type stuff. Okay, which Amori shall we do? Which Amori shall we do? I think I might do Amori with something in the background. I don't know what, but just something. You guys can tell me what that something is. Here it is, my guy, Omori. It's got that real round head. Ooh, not that round. There we go. Thank God for rubbers. Then we're just gonna do just a nothing, just a straight line. Those big sad eyes. Yep, here we go. Let's see how that looks on the camera. There's Maury, there he is. Oh. the neck the arms the shoulders and then there's the tank top and behind him what will it be There we go. All right. Now I only really need two colors for this. It's just gonna be black. Okay, tank top is done. Next, I will do the hair. As Ems has reminded you guys, there is a um, poster and sticker set for this event. 
which you can buy off the Omocat store. Two posters specifically for this event. I'm on one of the posters. That's really cool. I want the poster and the stickers look super cute and all the money for that goes to stop AAPI hate. Okay, I coloured in too much. And that's not the kind of thing you can rub out, is it? You know what? Hmm. Maybe we can turn it into a cat. I could use white paint. <laughs> I could. Uh, yeah. I could turn it into the cat. Maybe I'm going to try with some white. I'm going to try white paint. I'm going to try and, and do it. I'm going to figure it out. Um, okay, then let's give. Let me just show you the rest of this. I'm going to go for a real pale, just, just about white. There are no mistakes, only happy accidents. You were correct. True, be confident, Bowen. Bold artistic moves always pay off. Do not compromise. Just mixing this white now. Let me roll a little bit of pink. Okay. Oh, that's a weird color. Kind of blue mori. No, it kind of works. It's kind of grey. Just washing out that face now. We are at seven and a half thousand dollars. 
for stop AAPI hate, which will be doubled thanks to Homocat matching donations. So that actually means we've made $15,000, which is going to make a real difference. So thank you, everyone. You guys have been super generous. I hope you are enjoying this painting segment, which is coming to a close now. As we finish up this Omori. Okay. Omori and something. Now, 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 now. Now then, shall I show you guys all the paintings. I'm going to need to do a little uh, pen over like lines over the top, but we are at the end of the painting segment. Thank you for sticking with me whilst we've just been relaxing and painting. Um, I will sign all of them. So do you remember all those years ago? Flip it. Transform. All those years ago, when we painted Hero, who remembers? That's our hero. Now, don't forget Baby Kel. Ah, uh, there you are. Bounce, bounce, bounce. Flex, flex, flex. That is Baby Cal. She's my beloved. It's Mary. Go on, focus, 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 focus. There she is. And I'll do the pen lines afterwards. B A S I L B A S I L It's Basil Basil baby Baz 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 Holding the books let's go Penultimate is the Aubrey Now they do all need their outlines done and they will totally pop especially the faces they're going to pop once the outlines are done but I'll need to wait for them to dry first and I will sign them I will definitely sign all of them. And these are getting sent to the top six donators of the whole fundraiser. Finally, who have we got? We've got Omori, baby. Omori with winking something in the back. Guys, what a segment. We're rolling into 20 to 1 a.m. All right, so. This is the painting segment complete. We've also got the Mad Lib, which is the da -da 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 democratically elected wallpaper, which we've been voting on, on Tiltify in the polls section. Now, I shall be leaving you and heading back to the map. It's been a while since we've been here. Now, 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 let me clear away my painting stuff. Okay, guys, are you ready for rocks? I do believe rocks are coming up. Are you ready to rock? Everyone in the chat say, I am ready to rock. I want to rock and roll all night 
and party every day. Neighbour's room, we are leaving you. Goodbye. I hence by walk past you, Aubrey. Thank you for painting with me. It was a joy. It was a pleasure. <laughs> Everybody's saying I'm ready to rock. So, last time the rocks went pretty fast. Um, they all got adopted before the ad was even finished. Now, I do think that it should be customary to, to see and hear the description of the rock before you adopt it because you might not know that rock might need some kind of a beach house and you don't live in a beach house and you've already ro adopted the rock then how are you going to feel so as much as i love the enthusiasm you know take your time see who you really want to adopt and spend time with as we head to the pet rock sanctuary for our second round of adoptings now which button do i press i believe it's this one get ready everybody get ready welcome back to the pet rock sanctuary where kind people such as yourself extend their hearts to care for rocks in need our first rock's shadow is 750 million years old and was found lost on the endless highway. And unlike me who loves the spotlight, their ideal home is a dark alleyway. Please make room in your heart for this misunderstood soul, who's surprisingly good with children. Let shadow be your shadow today! One of the oldest rocks I've come across, it's Harrison, 1.5 billion years old. And I thought I was getting on. They were found lost in Dino's Dig. Looking for a big backyard, Harrison is young at heart. Will you dig Harrison today? Tough guy alert, it's Tank. This young fella's three million years old. Found in the deeper well, their ideal home is one with a basement. Good with children, good with pets. Our Tank is tough and tender. Let Tank rock your world today. Next up is Peaches, not found in Georgia, but in Raintown. Peaches is just a little baby coming in at one million years old. Their ideal home is full of plants. But if you can't keep one of those alive, don't even think about adopting this precious little rock. Let Peaches rock your world today! What a strange name, it's Mouse. Found under a giant block of cheese. Their ideal home is one with a lot of food. Pets, yes, but no cats. Children also, yes. Leave a mouse hole open in your heart for Mouse. Today! Not to be confused with the previous rock, it's Moose. Moose is 641 million years old and was found in vast forest. Their ideal home, a little picky, is a one-story condo. Remember, Moose, some rocks are fine with a dark alley. Our lovely little rock, Moose, gets on well with other pets but does not get on well with children. So let Moose loose a boot your hoose today! Who's this rock? Say hello to Darwin! Found in a hole while we were just enjoying ourselves in Dino's Dig, Darwin is looking for a new home. At three million years young, Darwin has a lot of potential and your two-story home may be ideal for them. While enjoying the company of children, this whiz kid does not get on well with other pets. Let Darwin evolve in your heart today! Wobble wobble, don't touch it, it's Jelly! Are you really a rock? Rescued from Humphrey's stomach, Jelly is 164 million years old. An excellent swimmer, Jelly needs a pool. Synchronize swim with Jelly today! Our next rock is pretty handy with a skateboard. It's Tony and they are 52 million years old. Found stuck on top of a high cliff. This daredevil needs athletic love. Soccer moms and dads, please apply. They get on well with other pets and children, so why not let Tony rock your world today? Doo 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 loo, it's Piper. Found in a musical clam at the bottom of the ocean. Piper was happily dancing a jolly little jig. But no matter how happy, all rocks must be saved. Now we're looking for a particularly musical family for our Piper. Is that you? Do you do doodaloo? Well, do doodaloo with Piper today. Next up is Bug. 
In their prime at under a million years old. A mind so young it could easily be warped. But here at the Pet Rock Sanctuary, we want the best for our rocks. And that means a home without spiders, since Bug was rescued from a spider web in Pyrefly Forest. Bug gets along with all non-insect pets, but children of any kind are a no-go. Will you give Bug a hug today? I can barely believe I'm in the presence of Pierre Stroganoff the 17th. This Michelin star rock was rescued from a creepy train. I just want to get off. Pierre deserves a fancy two-story home. Tech entrepreneurs, please get in touch to satisfy the needs of our beloved Pierre today. How cute can you be? This little rock is 568,789 years old. It's Pebble. Truly the baby of the bunch. Now Pebble was found stuck inside a frozen lake. They just want a loving family and a warm fireplace. If Pebbles touched your heart, please adopt today! Mmm, delicious noodles. 378 million years old, this rock was rescued from a burger diner under the sea. Tune your aerial to love. This vegan rock will neither tolerate living with pets nor harming them, but loves the presence of children. Slurp noodles into your heart today! Hello, Duchess. This rock, I mean Her Majesty, is one billion years old. Rescued from a campsite in space, how vile. Duchess merely wants the indoor comforts of a castle. If your historical building is getting lonely, consider loving Duchess today! Wowee. You guys sure do adopt quickly. I suppose you guys just have really big hearts that can't be held back. Um, I can confirm all of the rocks were adopted within the first um, 30 seconds or so. So, and oh, I am also hearing that we have passed the $8,000 milestone, which means that I will be releasing my special mixtape. We've reached 8k, guys. Ooh, 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 we did it. Let's go, let's go. So, everybody who has donated, no matter how much, will be receiving that in their emails. Woo, let's go. Um, all right, we're doing great. Moving forwards, chum, chum, chum. Walking slowly, making my way two where am i going next it's a little place called white space now what happens in white space i suppose i hang out with this funny old fellow hello my friend shall i enter the door shall i go to white space dare i go to white space Yes, I do dare. Here we are. Guys. At this point, things get one. Serious. Two. Strange. Three. Emotional. Four. Psychologically penetrating. Okay? We are going through people's dreams. The way that I am going to analyze their dreams is in a Jungian way where each character is a different part of that person in the dream and all of the elements reflect their psyche. So I'm going to warn you now. Okay, first things first, I'm going to turn the lights off because we need to get into a mood. We're dimming the lights. Okay, guys. Honestly, this is gonna get, this, this, this is gonna get intense. All right. So thank you everyone for submitting your dreams. I also wanna let you guys know that we have a target. And that target, which is on Tiltify, if it is reached, means that me, yes, I, I will share a dream. Now I shared a dream last time I did this, 
which was literally a two sentence dream. Now this is multiple, um, multiple paragraph stream. I'm letting you guys into my, the inner workings of my psyche. I'm letting you into my subconscious. If the target is reached. If not, I get to keep my dream to myself. All right, now let's read the first dream. Now all the dreams are anonymous. So dream number one, everybody, let's tune in. Imagine that you're there. Okay. I had this dream when I was a lot younger, but I vividly remember it. It took place in the middle of the woods. Jun. By a bus stop. Jun. Sort of similar to that one bus stop scene in My Neighbor Totoro, except it was a lot more foggy and cold. There was broken ice. Jun. And empty mirror frames scattered around the place. The source of the coldness was from an extremely tall, monochrome, deer, June slash, wolf, doom, hybrid-like creature, standing beside me. I couldn't perceive their upper torso so well, though there were a bunch of eyes everywhere on their body. Eventually, they asked me in a sincere to tone of childlike worry, Are you really sure you're ready to leave? I simply replied with, I may be afraid, but yes. Soon the bus arrived and I went into it. It was empty besides the fuzzy silhouettes of a few predatory animals, mostly canines, but there were some felines and birds of prey. As soon as I sat down in the seat at the very back of the bus, I woke up. So guys, what do you think of this dream? What are you making, putting all the images and the characters together? What is going on in this person's psyche? So I will tell <laughs> I will tell you guys what I get from this dream. So the first thing, you're in the woods. Now the woods is the archetypal dream space, right? Woods are, so think of the musical Into the Woods where all of the characters go into the woods and they change their potential, their, everything that they knew about themselves before the woods was, was changeable. There could be a different person. It's somewhere you could get lost and maybe it's somewhere you can get found. And so I think that that's similar to a dream in that your um, pre-established idea of yourself, your personality, your drives, your fears are kind of gone and your um, subconscious is allowed to be free. So I think it's very interesting that you're taken into the woods and there's a bus stop here. Maybe you're gonna get picked up, who knows? Um, now, what I love is this broken ice and empty mirror frames. Now think about the broken ice. Think about the empty mirror frames. Ice is a reflective surface. It's something that you can see yourself in. It's something that you could be mirrored in, okay? It's something that you, where you could understand yourself, but here you're in the dream and the ice is broken. You're seeing a fragmented view of yourself and the mirror frames are completely empty. Where you once had a chance to see yourself reflected, you no longer have that chance. Now, let me just point your attention to something else. Whereas you can't see yourself in the broken ice or empty mirrors and the fog everywhere, one thing can certainly see you. It is the creature with a bunch of eyes everywhere on their body. Now, what I want to draw your attention to with this creature is that they are a, they are a deer slash wolf hybrid. And um, that's a very interesting hybrid because deer, you see, I put up the image of Bambi. Our associations with deers are that they are kind of timid, skittish, kind of maybe a little innocent. They go in packs and they are, um, they kind of represent vulnerability to me. Now the wolf is a loner, is full of aggression. It's, it's, these are kind of polar opposites and they're being fused together. 
into a um, hybrid creature. So what I'm going to posit is that right now you're being you you're meeting a dream guide right here, this creature, which holds for you one your aggression, but it also holds your vulnerability. And I'm going to say that at a certain point in your life, perhaps in your childhood, you lost your access to your aggression. You lost access to your vulnerability and you became numb. But this creature who is you is holding both of those, those, those polar opposite ends that you need in life to feel alive. Um, now the eyes remind me of Argus from the Greek myths, which is a monster who was sent down to protect um, this uh, attractive mortal that Zeus was interested in. Zeus's wife Hera, or Hera, um, sent down Argus, who has like hundreds of eyes all over his body, to, to watch over this attractive mortal that Zeus was interested in. So I wanna ask you the question, what are these eyes looking out for? What are, what are you hyper vigilant about? What does the vulnerable and aggressive um, part of you want to protect and have to have a little look and see? Um, and you know, the, the thing with Argus is that he was the perfect guard because when one of his eyes were asleep, the others were awake. Um, and now what, what I will suggest to you is that perhaps you can let down your hypervigilance. That's what the dream is saying here, that, um, that the cost of being hypervigilant, of having all of those eyes all over your body searching for everything, searching for any threat, is that you lose touch with your aggression. You lose touch with your vulnerability. And then the bus comes and it takes you home. And the animals that were so predatory, that held that aggression that you could connect to, that you could kind of um, become freed by, they turn into silhouettes and everything's kind of fading. And as you sit down in the bus, you wake up. So thanks for sharing that dream. That was, those were my impressions from the dream. I think it's an incredible chance you've had to meet this hybrid wolf deer thing and I hope you meet that wolf deer again and it might be in a different form um, but you know a dream in the woods that's a powerful dream all right let's move on to the next dream dream two recently I had this oh wait wait let me get rid of all of the images uh, images 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 away Okay. Oh, spoilers, spoilers, spoilers. Big spoilers. Okay, let's take these away. Now, here we are. Recently, I had this dream that took place inside of a church. This church happened to also be the same church that I go to IRL. I was in the main room of this church where the services are held where uh, just chatting to a kid, I recognized this kid as a member of my church as well. After a while, I got up off the floor and stepped outside the room. In the new room, there was a large coffin. Let me out. I went over to said coffin and opened it. Inside was a small chest and a little book. I ignored the chest and picked up the book. The book was slimy and gross. Blah! I see someone in the chat saying, I'm looking forward to the slime moment, um, which made me put it down immediately. After I did that, the kid that I was talking to earlier came into the coffin room. He didn't say anything, but the door that he used to enter was open. It led back to the main room. Before I could go back to the main room, there was an explosion explosion i'm trying to click on you and make you explode explosion boom 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 why did that happen me and the kid 
went back inside the main room to find that all of the people that were in there before now were skeletons on the floor. We decided to leave the main room and go back into the coffin room. When we did, the skeletons that were in the main room started to file into the room and dance around us in a line. Eventually they all left the room and only me, the kid and a skeleton lady were left. I just looked at the skeleton lady as she stood next to the coffin. But before I could figure out what she wanted, I woke up. So wow, this person is in a church and they enter this coffin room and um, they don't leave the coffin where it is. Let me see, let me get, get my face in here. They open the coffin. What's inside the coffin? Inside the coffin is a chest and a book. They pick up the book, the book is slimy. And then all of a sudden there's an explosion and everybody turns to skeletons who curiously are animated and they dance. And then in the end, this dreamer is trying to connect to a skeleton lady. Now, I think, um, okay, let me, t let me tell you what I think. I think that this is an Eve dream. This is a Pandora dream. This is a dream about, it's a very biblical dream. And I know that you have that biblical imagery because you go to church and in the dream you're in this church. But here you're, you're, you're having like the fall of man. You have your curiosity as Eve is curious about the apple. You're curious about what's in this coffin and what could that mean? Curio curiosity in the church about what's in the coffin. Curiosity about death. Maybe doubt about heaven. Maybe just, just, just wanting to see beyond the scriptures. What the people in your church say is, is, is dead and buried. You have a curiosity in this dream to open it up. And there, there is something that there's some disgust response there with the slime that comes out. But what also happens is an explosion. Now, we could take that as... We could take that as, oh no, I've been punished for my curiosity. But what I want to posit to you is that what's happened is you have experienced there will be there will be an outburst an explosion of kinds when you change from your established set of um, you know what people think of you when you start to be more curious about things but what you really gain is this connection to the skeletons something older than our culture um, and what do the skeletons do they dance they dance with you. It's kind of an invitation into more joy. Um, and I really think basically what I was getting from this whole dream and by the fact that at the end you just stood there looking at this lady skeleton, wondering what she wants, is that maybe you are connecting to a more ancient view of women than is proposed in the Bible and at your church and in enacting being a... Um, Eve figure in your curiosity that leads to some kind of you know big explosion um, in enacting being that Eve figure you're figuring out the reality and the um, the depth of what it means um, to be you outside of um, what your church says so that's what I make of that and I say embrace the skeletons I mean this this dream is literally about you dancing with death, with being curious, but also finding the joy in it, finding the kind of macabre, maybe black humor, the, the connecting with the skeletal part of yourself. Now, we are moving on to dream number three. Thanks for sharing that with me. Someone says, hug a skeleton today. These are really cool dreams. I really appreciate everybody sending them in. And I read everybody's dreams. And, you know, it's just, I have to go. I have to go. I don't have to go as in-depth as I go. But I like going as in-depth as I go into these. So I could only choose three. So this is the final one. And it goes something like this. I have few dreams to give since dreaming for me is a rarity. 
There's one that haunts me though. One that I can't get out of my skull. It's short, simple and sounds ripped out of a cheesy film class assignment. I'm driving through my neighborhood as I usually do as I go out to fetch food for my working family when suddenly I remain fixed at a stop sign. <laughs> Across the street is a group of children roughly middle aged roughly middle school aged all dressed in halloween costumes here they are spooky terrifying kids <laughs> while you're stopped at the stop sign they wore no expression as they stared at the house that had burned down about a month ago <laughs> from the reports i could recall None of the house residents perished and the fire was from carelessness with a dryer by not cleaning the filter. In short, there wasn't any logical reason that came to mind for why these kids were gawking or why they were dressed as they were in the middle of June. So, any ideas what this could possibly mean? Guys, what do you think in chat? What are you making of this dream? The dreamer is just going about their everyday life, but they are stopped suddenly at a stop sign and they just see these kids staring in Halloween costumes in the middle of June looking at a burnt down house that was burnt down months before people saying the kids burnt the house what kind of message is that for this guy's life okay <laughs> ghost children dreamer burned down the house they are gamers okay I will tell you what I think about this dream. So, firstly, the stop sign is is pretty incredible. I think it's saying your normal life, there are things that you haven't paid attention to, things that you might have forgotten, things that you might have kind of just blurred out of your life. But in that dream, you're getting a stop sign saying literally stop, pay attention to this, even though it might seem strange. Now, you're looking at these kids and Everything is quite out of time. The kids are dressed in Halloween outfits in June, almost as if they're stuck wearing a costume because they cannot be their authentic selves. Maybe you're being given a chance, like a ghost going back to your past, looking at yourself as a child, wearing the costume of the happy child. But underneath, a lot more is going on. I think it's very interesting that in the dream, the way that you've remembered the dream, you basically downplay the fire. Say from the reports I could recall, none of the house residents perished in the f and the fire was from carelessness with a dryer by not cleaning the filter. Like it's just these kind of, uh, just, oh, it was just kind of an accident. It was just kind of an odd little thing. I think, um, I think what's going on here is that these kids are transfixed on this um you've been stopped at a stop sign in front of this house which you're telling me there is nothing um there's nothing important about you know no crime went on here so what i'm kind of seeing is that maybe you're looking past something which maybe you've been forced to downplay which other people told you no that's not a big deal oh it was just kind of an accident i think that this dream is telling you to go back to your past stop and see where the house burnt down and see really what you lost in the fire it wasn't just a careless issue i think that you have to reclaim those kids stuck in their halloween masks and um and and continue driving on once you've really um had a look at why the house was burning that is my interpretation of the dream and those are my ideas i hope you enjoyed it now, I have had it confirmed that Bowen shares a dream target has been reached. So I will be sharing my dream from my deep subconscious. So, guys, I'm going to read out my dream and I want you guys to interpret it. And I'll, I, will, I will read it back. So, we've unlocked it. Bowen's dream. Here we go. Me and Nami, who is my housemate, are going to Hong Kong and Japan. 
but they're fused into one place. I'm there to see Charlene and Shen, who are my friends who live in Hong Kong, and Nami is going to visit his girlfriend. We have four Nintendo Switches. June, 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 Switch, Switch, Switch. And we think about what we can play together. Then, Charlene and Shen get a phone call and say their friends are at the border and we have to go meet them. Nami goes to meet his girlfriend. So everyone leaves. Suddenly, I'm at a huge dance club. Do, 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 do. There's about 1,000 people, although there's more people in the chat right now. And I'm up on a sky high DJ booth looking down. I'm next to a stereotypical European DJ who looks a bit lost. So I take over the decks playing Je ne sais quoi, which is an Icelandic Eurovision entry from 2010. I press some buttons which clumsily trigger effects um, and scratches. It's not particularly smooth, but the crowd doesn't seem to mind. Suddenly, the song ends and we're in silence. I'm searching for a song to put on next, but I can't really find anything. So I pick up the DJ decks. I'm holding the DJ decks in the club and I show them to the crowd, grabbing the mic and saying, these are cool. And I point to the decks and the crowd cheers. Then a few people start to clap and I shout, clap, 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 clap. Everyone in the, everyone in the, uh, in the chat, clap, 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 clap. Let's go, let's go, clap, 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 clap. And I order different parts of the crowd to clap, which they do. Everybody does as I say and supports me. However, oh my God, now people are clapping. Everybody does as I say and supports me. However, we're still in silence. So instead of playing a song, I begin to search for an episode of The Simpsons to put on in the dance club. It seemed like the, cloud, the crowd would enjoy it, to be honest. Then... The dream ends on me putting on an episode of The Simpsons in the club after the song ends. So guys, what do you think? What do you think? That was my dream. I kind of go to Hong Kong and Japan and then I'm kind of DJing at this big dance club and uh, I kind of take over from this other DJ <laughs> and I'm just playing the tunes. I'm just doing whatever. Everyone's loving it. Everybody loves me, baby. And then the song ends, but everyone still loves me. And I'm saying clap, clap, and everyone just does it. And I say, these are cool. And then I just put on The Simpsons. Someone says, it means you have five days left to live. You know what? It was such a happy dream because just like everything went my way. Like just everything I wanted to happen, happened. Everyone's saying, I was super drunk. <laughs> uh, I'm scared of people not loving me. Yeah, maybe. Let's see what else. You've had enough of lockdown. Something about external validation. Let's see. My interpretation is that once your friends leave you, leave you believing all you have left is the things you make. Music, DJing. The Simpsons represents taking risks in your career. <laughs> uh, what else? Even when you feel as though you have failed, your fans will support you no matter what. That's a good message. Um, let's see what else. It, it also means The Simpsons will never end. Okay, well that was my dream. Thanks for unlocking it, guys. That's, that's what my subconscious is saying. I think your interpretations are pretty good. You guys are still interpreting. My interpretation is that you had a really strange dream. The Simpsons represents the comfort of nostalgia. Um, okay, so at the last part, you're seeking approval and support and you're ch changing stuff to try and make your audience happy and seek validation. Maybe it's your future because the Simpsons know the future. Be more confident in yourself. Somebody diagnoses me with the Simpsons. All right, okay. I will now be leaving white space, everybody. Let me get rid of these. Oh, wrong thing. So we entered into the subconscious of Amori fans and even of this guy, Bowen himself. Now we exit 
And let me tell you, we're going to be selling more rocks, everybody. It's going to be rock o'clock. We're going to be rocking around the clock tonight. Everybody, mood change. Let's leave this dream world alone. Everybody wake up right now. Three, two, one. Boom. Good morning. Just walking along, going over here. Oh, I just got to turn around, my dudes. And I am walking along. <laughs> musical whiplash, yeah, it's true. This stream has a bit of emotional and musical whiplash. Do, 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 in the morning. I like man with a kiss. Well, here we are at the next Pet Rock Sanctuary. Now, are you guys ready to... It's rock o'clock. Are you guys ready to rock? Everybody type in the chat. I'm going to watch the entire advert before I adopt. Everybody make the pledge. I really want your hearts to be fused with this rock that you adopt. And there's some pretty important information in the adverts, you know. So if you're ready to buy, I think we are ready to go to the next. <laughs> you guys actually are typing it out that you guys are promising that you're going to watch the entire advert before you adopt. Okay, I'm going to play the advert now and the rocks will be unleashed. We're back again at the Pet Rock Sanctuary. I bet you need a pet in your life. And what's more stable and reassuring than a rock? You were wondering where he was, it's Wally. Lost in the playground, having a bit too much fun. Wally is 10 million years old. Their ideal home is one with many flowers. They get along well with pets and children who behave. So place Wally in your trolley and click purchase now today. Hop on the Gus bus and make a fuss. This rock demands your attention. 54 million years old and rescued from a castle garden. The beautiful little Gus is a little shy and will need a place that is quiet. So if you can keep your mouth shut, open your heart for Gus today. Next up is T.O.M. It's Tom. 446 million years old, rescued from a Sprout Mole's collection. Tom is not a toy. Our little Tommy is easygoing and would prefer the company of other rocks. So if you're looking for a charming new addition to your rock collection, consider Tom today. For those who dabble in philosophy, consider Newt. Rescued from an alcove near a wise rock, our Newt is looking for a new mentor. At 391 million years old, Newt has some historical knowledge. Social skills, not so much. But plop him in your library and Newt will be a happy little rock. Today! For fans of spice lattes, it's Pumpkin. Pumpkin has been through 64 million autumns and was saved from a vegetable garden in the rain. Pumpkin was found screaming, no more plants. So keep your green fingers to yourself. Pets, yes. Children, yes. Plants, absolutely no. Today! Next up is Roscoe. One of our older rocks. You can tell by the name. Roscoe is two billion years old and was saved from the clutches of a crazy artist. No more easels, brushes, clay, pencils, spray paint. The weary Roscoe just needs love and a large one-story house. So be Roscoe's landlord today! Rescued from a taxi cab at the bottom of the ocean, it's a 628 million year old Skipper! Cab ride after cab ride, Skipper's just looking for a comfortable home. They get on well with pets and children, so don't skip Skipper today! This pet rock was rescued from a snow-covered mountain. It's the 8 million year old Diego. Since they came to our sanctuary, Diego's been stuck to the radiator. Homes with fluffy pets and central heating are ideal for our frostbitten little Diego. So let Diego warm your heart today! After 84 million years, Tadpole is yet to become a frog. But in your loving care, who knows what might happen? They were found lost in the deep well. Tadpole gets on with everything and everyone. So let him swim into your heart today! Our next rock was rescued from a room full of treadmills. Lost alone but with a six minute mile, May just wants to relax in the company of nice people. 
If your pets and children are friendly, let May jog into your heart today. Our next rock, Jake, was particularly traumatized when we rescued them from a cage full of bears. One staff member perished that day, but the precious Jake survived and needs a loving home full of stuffed animals. You might call Jake the plushy prince or the cuddly connoisseur. Either way, Jake will be an adorable addition to your family today. Our next rock, Sable, comes in at 31 million years old, found underneath a mailbox and known to read your mail. This rock is suitable for parents who are not concerned with privacy. Their ideal home is an apartment in the city, and they get along well with other pets and children just as long as there are no secrets. Let's say we'll read your love letters today! Rescued from a cave full of bread and cursed by a sand witch, Bones needs a lot of love and care. Bones is one of our older rocks here at the sanctuary and absolutely loves children. So let Bones into your skeleton of love today! Ben, 10 million years old, this rock was found in a field in space. Grossed out by children, but in love with animals, Ben would just like to have their feet firmly on the ground again. So if you can bring Ben back down to Earth, consider adopting today. The 45 million year old Bo was rescued from a lemonade stand. When life gives you lemons, adopt a rock. Their ideal home is one with lots of food. Bo is good with pets and other children, but does not share food. So squeeze lemons with Bo today! Guys, you went and did it again. What did you pledge? Now I know that a pledge from you guys means nothing. I appreciate you guys all adopting rocks. Wanting to give them a loving home. There will be one final chance after our next segment, which is the mailbox of a certain color, which is blue. You guys want to go to the blue mailbox? Say yes, we want to read the mail. Yes, we want to read the mail. Yes, everybody loves mail. <laughs> Everybody's saying yes. All right. We are going to the blue mailbox. And, oh, am I seeing that correctly? I believe we have raised 10k, guys. Can you see that in the corner? 10k, do do do, 10k, do do do. That means I shall be performing my time tonight. It's gonna be my time, baby. All right, let's go. Thank you specifically to A, who donated $1,000. And you just put your name as A. That's cooler than anonymous. Okay. So. That's pretty amazing. 1K donor, Chad. Incredible. Alright. We're heading to the blue mailbox. Get ready, guys. Here we are. Oh, let me move my... Camera. Okay, guys, you've got mail. The mail has come. Now, um, we received a lot of fan mail and I actually have a statement from Omocat and the team regarding the fan mail. Let me read that for you guys now. And also, look, I'm not sad. Let me change my emotion. I'm actually, I'm actually pretty happy because that was an incredible, we've reached the 10K goal. So I'll change it. No, no, not angry, not angry. I'm gonna change it to happy. And I'll move it up a little bit. Come on, happy, come on, happy. Come on, happy, come on, happy, here we are. Let me move my webcam along. So you guys 
guys can actually see me. All right. So, Omakat and the team have a statement that they wanted to read prior to me reading the fan mail. So, hello again, everyone. Thank you all for the fan letters. For this event, we will only be able to read a small portion of submissions, but we want you to know that we've read every single one of them, which is true. Many of your letters were so incredibly meaningful and personal. We were humbled to learn how much our game changed people's lives for the better. As many of you know, Amori's development was full of hardship and pain. We poured our hearts into it. After receiving your fan letters and seeing the outpouring of love everyone has for Amori, we know it was all worth it. From Omakat and T. So, let's get into the fan mail. Do you like this uh, ASCII flower? ASCII flower here. Okay, fan mail number one. So, thank you so much for making this game. Sometimes it feels like when there is the right thing to do, it should be obvious and easy. A little voice that goes like, just be honest and trust your friends. Omori made me understand how terrifying it can be to trust, how impossible the right thing to do can feel like. I love how much care was put into the dream world too. Often when games depict the sort of escapism shown in Amori, the nice world the protagonist escapes to is generic, bland, or too sweet. Sunny's dream world, however, is unique and beautiful. And it really drives home that the same person who was withering away in guilt was valuable, full of life and creativity. It's a deeply uh, empathetic and hopeful game. And it made me cry a lot. Thank you for making it, Ricardo Aguilera. Well, thank you, Ricardo, for your fan mail. Oh, I will lower the music, yes. Music, music, where are you so I can lower you? There we go. Next fan mail. To Omokat and Omori team. Thank you for creating such an amazing experience. Along with having a wonderful musical, artistic, seriously, the art slash animation has inspired me a ton, and writing style, it's the first game I've truly experienced blind, so it's got a special spot in my heart. Omori is one of those rare games where you want to gift it to everyone you know, because you want them to feel the same way you do. I can ramble on and on about it right now, but since I should probably keep this short, I just have one question. Do you guys love air conditioning? I personally hate air conditioning. It's like I can taste the air. I don't want to taste the air. I want it to be refreshing. Okay, to Bowen. Hey, this is for me. I love your music. Every, oh, everyone else, all the other mods can reply about what they think about air conditioning. The rest of the Amori team. Um, I love your music, especially the part where you go, ah, because mood. In all seriousness, in all seriousness though, I quite like your style. The first time I heard my time, I was like, wow, this is quite different than what I'm used to, but it's grown on me a lot. I cannot stop humming it these days. The melody is so enchanting, along with much of your other music. Do you have a favorite instrument? I mean, I love the piano, but I also like the human voice. I think the human voice is pretty amazing. And then to both, as an Asian American, I'd like to say, it warms my heart that you guys are choosing to support AAPI. I might be a miserably broke student, but thank you so much for holding the fundraiser. Pasta. And that is from Arissa H. Arissa H, are you in the chat? Because uh, I've got a bone to pick with you about air conditioning. All right, that was a lovely letter. The next letter says, Omakat, oh you guys have actually changed my life. In late 2019, I heard a Bowen song on TikTok, which led me to the original Amori trailer, and I was immediately captivated. After counting down the days till the 12th of December, 2020, I bought Amori as soon as I could and blazed through my first playthrough. I was so taken aback by the absolute charm and character and everything. I could tell there was so much heart in everything and that a lot of care and love was put in. The, uh, the experience of playing this game will stay with me for the rest of my life fighting oh oh wait 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 guys 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 um spoilers okay this is a spoiler announcement if you have not finished the game if you haven't played the game if you care about spoilers you need to leave now 
From this point on, it's spoilers. Okay. Spoiler, 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 spoiler. And also, I said the 12th of December, I meant the 25th of December. Okay. Spoilers, 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 spoilers. Okay. Let me continue. The experience of playing this game will stay with me for the rest of my life. Fighting Aubrey in the church, Black Space, the final duet. It's all completely changed my life. Thank you so, so much for such a beautiful game. I look forward to the team's future creations. P.S. Please actually put pet rocks on the Omicat shop. I promise they would be sold out in 30 seconds. How did you know? Also, Bowen, I love you. You're cool too. Cool. That's from Anonymous. Thank you, Anonymous. All right. That was a cool letter. I liked it. Next letter says... Hey, Bowen and Omicat. It's an honor to be able to talk to you. I am more than happy to support your cause because the world deserves good, especially right now. Um, I don't want anybody to be afraid. A dear friend of mine who sadly passed away of COVID was Asian and I saw people make fun of him because of it. It was horrific. He was a really, funny, a really fun guy to hang out with and it's still really difficult to believe that he's gone. The thought of anybody being hurt over this breaks me. If I may, I'd like to share a personal story. Thanks to Amori, I've been able to cope with having been a bad person. I've lashed out at people, traumatized them, and let my anger out on them. I've manipulated, lied, and hurt for the sake of hurting. I really cannot overstate how much harm I've caused to people that I loved. I feel a crushing guilt every day, and I used to be unable to do anything but wallow in self-hatred. So the cycle kept repeating, over and over. However, Amori has taught me to be able to forgive myself and to use my errors as a way to move forward instead of being consumed in misery. I'm doing my best. I know the music, I know, I know, but hey, let's just keep going with it. I've even been in contact with one of my former friends. It means a lot to me that she's considered me worth talking to after all of this, and it is, and it is trust that I really do not want to waste. She doesn't trust me, and it's questionable if she would ever consider wanting to be friends again, because it wouldn't be the same. But I hope to at least prove to her that I can be a better person. Not just for myself, but also for her, and all of the people that I've hurt. I'm doing it for the people that I still consider my friends. The memories that we've made are a little sad now, but I'm hoping that I'll one day, that one day we'll be able to make new ones. And that's from Alex. Thanks for sharing, Alex. And I apologize about the music. Um, oh, it should have been this theme. This would have been a good theme to go with that letter. The music shows resilience. That is correct. Okay, I hope things go better for you, Alex. Thanks for sharing. All right. The next one is... Hi, Bowen, Omakat, and the Amori team. First of all... As a member of the Asian, as a, as a member of the Asian community, thank you for holding this fundraiser. These are tough times for us and for everyone as well. To everyone, please take care of yourself in these trying times. I would like to thank everyone involved in the game. Mori has been a hell of a journey for me, and I enjoyed every second of it. I love everything about it, whether it be the visuals, the story, the characters, the music. Real good, especially by your time, uh, by your side, and my time, by your time and my side. I would also like to ask a question, or rather, would like to ask for an advice on how to help someone who is depressed. I would like to help them, but I couldn't really find a way to do so. Thank you in advance if this fan mail gets read. And I also want to ask for a little push from any of you, for I am preparing for my Japanese scholarship and it would help me a lot. Thank you very much for creating this masterpiece called Amori and Bowen. Your music is fire, keep it up. And that's from Gap. So everyone wish Gap good luck in um, preparing for their Japanese scholarship. Go on, you can do it. There's your push. No Mary references. There's your push. Go on, you can do it. Yeah, everyone in chat. Wish Gap good luck. And also their question is, um, they want some advice on how to help someone who's depressed. And chat, what do you think? What do you think that Gap should do? Maybe just be there endlessly. Um, I think that's what I would say. I mean, set boundaries for yourself, but... You know, just let that person know that you don't expect anything from them and that you're just there for them and just 
you just want to have fun with them and even if they don't feel like having fun you just want to chat to them just want to know how they are and um yeah hopefully chat can give you some more advice chat is saying be there to listen to them Gap, remember to always put yourself first. I've been in your situation. It's really easy to lose yourself loving someone depressed. Really important to have boundaries. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. Now, next up, we have a... Oh, this is this is a little more bulky. I thought we only had letters, but um, actually, I found a VHS. So I'm going to put the VHS into the... Clunk. And there are spoilers here. Spoiler, 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 spoiler. Now, we are going to watch this VHS. Let's see what it is. It says Endless. Okay, let's find out what Endless is.
Wow. What do you guys think of that? Hey, hey, hey. Endless streaming, endless nightmare. I thought that was fantastic. Thank you for sending in that VHS. Hey, I had no idea what was going to be on there, but, um, whoa, that was pretty cool. All right. Let us now read the next fan mail, guys. You in the mood for listening? Listening to me read? Because I've been doing a lot of that during the stream. All right. So I'm going to read it to you. Omori has helped me through times where I thought I'd never be able to live on normally just with a feeling of wanting to beat a boss or making it to the next area in the game. It has been a while since I felt some motivation for something like that. I also picked up piano again because I really wanted to learn how to play the music from the game. Also, Amori introduced me to Bowen's music, which I really love. Thank you. The game has also made me feel like that. If I work hard enough, I can maybe make a story as great someday. I look up to everybody on the Amori team. Violet. Thank you, Violet. That is a very kind message. The next fan mail says, Just wanted to thank Omakat and Bowen for helping make such an incredible game. It'll be three years since my dad died in a few months, and the way that the game handles memories surrounding loved ones, as well as the negative memories that come surrounding them, was simply beautiful and moved me more than anything has in my life. Thanks for making such a wonderful game, and best of luck to you going forward from Anonymous. Thank you. I hope you're doing well. All right. Next fan mail. I love all these fan mails. I actually read every single fan mail. And, you know, when you, you just got to pick some. It's tough to pick, but you just got to pick. All right. Hello, Bowen and the Mori team. My name is Shelley. I'm from France, and I'm a huge fan of Omakat since 2013. I met Omakat's gorgeous art on Tumblr with some Yume Nikki content and never stopped to support the team. Omori was the game I awaited the most in my life. I waited for it for so long that I was afraid to play it when it was released. I finished the game in like four days of full and immersive play. I was so moved, I literally had a mental breakdown for a few days after it, but Omori was the right game I needed for that precise period of my life. It helped me so much. I feel so grateful. I want to support the team as much as I can. For me, it's a masterpiece. Always love the name Sunny, but since Amori, I'm 99% that it will be my son's name. Soon I will get a tattoo of Amori. I have a tattoo of everything that marked my life. And I think that when this mail is going to be read, maybe, yes it will Shelley, I will already have it on my skin. Okay, imagine that guys. Right now, Shelley has got that Amori tattoo. Um, thank you for everything. All team members done something so special and unique. All your works were so good, high quality and enjoyable. I'm sad that I will never find such a great game again, but so happy to have played it. Be proud of you all. I love you. Spreading positivity. Thanks Omakat and Omakat team. And thanks Bowen for your beautiful voice and works. I will support you all forever. An enthusiast fan named Shelley. Thank you so much, Shelley. What a letter. All right. This next one just says, Omori has ruined my life. I love it. Do you guys agree with that sentiment? That's from Raimi. Omori has, has ruined my life. I love it. Okay. Next fan mail. Get another mail out there. Actually, I'm going to take this time to say something weird is going on with my P.O. box. I opened a P.O. box like two months ago and nothing has turned up. And I thought, hey, maybe I was just getting big headed, thinking that people were going to send me mail when ah, in the end, nobody could be bothered. That's fine. Maybe I just got nothing. But people told me I sent you something. Is it there? I sent you something. Is it there? And I think the post office is holding all of my packages hostage. They're supposed to send it on to my address. I don't know what's happened. So I'm going to find out about my PO box. You know, while I'm going through this whole mailbox here, it's just making me think, where's my, where's, where's my mail? I do have a PO box, yeah. 
Anyway, I'm going to read this fan mail. Okay, someone says they forgot to send me the spaghetti. It's fine, don't worry. Anyway, this next letter did arrive in the blue mailbox and it says, Hey Bowen, Amori team, Omocat, and etc. That could be you guys in chat too, etc. Might be referring to you guys. I'd like to say thank you for the game. It means so much to me. When I started playing the game, I was in a bad moment in my life with my brain being super hard on me. More like usual. This game though, after I experienced the ending, it sort of changed me. It made me think I have to get better and I shouldn't lie down. I have to stand up and fight. It made me feel so much better and it's helped me a lot when I was feeling super down. Thank you for this game. It means a lot to me. Bowen, your music is good by the way. I've listened to some of your music and it's very nice. If you ever feel doubt, just know that that is wrong. You mean a lot to people. Same to Omakat and the Amori team. And Omakat, I'm an instant fan and I'll be following your works for a very long time. Thank you for this game, seriously. It's literally my favorite piece of media ever. Thank you, Anonymous. Well, that's very kind. What a lovely letter. All right. Now, okay, next one, next one, next one. Oh my God, it's another VHS. Guys, oh, it's the chunky one. Should we stick it in the machine? Should we see? I'm gonna... Let us play this next VHS. Let's, let's see what's going on here. All right, let's watch. I'm feeling good, let's say my emptiness has gone away. I just woke up today, eat my corny flakes for you. Very nice VHS. Lovely. I will be watching that every summer, every winter, every spring. Clap, 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 clap. That was very good. Guys, we are nearing the end. What we have left is, dare I say, another, the final Pet Rock Sanctuary. It's been the hit of this show. Um, you guys have been adopting like crazy. 
and um, I, this is your final chance to adopt. And I have a feeling there's going to be a very special rock finally at the end. There will be one special separate rock that won't show up until this rock is shown on the advert. So let us leave the blue mailbox. Thank you, blue mailbox. We've read your mail. We loved all the fan mail. We loved all the fan videos. We are going back to the map. No more mail. We are indeed heading to the one, the only, the place that's full of love. It is the Pet Rock Sanctuary. Now, are you guys prepared? Are you guys going to make a pledge again? Or am I just going to be disappointed? You know, this is, this is no pledge Sunday. It's actually Monday morning for me right now. We are rolling into 2 a.m. where I'm at. We have raised $10,267.43. That's pretty cool. Um, okay. Are you guys, are you guys ready? I'm seeing people saying, I pledge allegiance to The Rock. I'm going to start the advert in three, two, one. Rocks. Welcome back to the Pet Rock Sanctuary. We've already found so many loving parents for these adorable rocks in need. I I'm crying with happiness, but it's not over yet. Please view the final batch of adoptees. First on the podium is the two-faced Gemini. Just don't turn them over. 910 million years old, they were rescued from a construction site. Gemini is strangely fond of girders and scaffolding. So if you have a tall house, consider adopting Gemini today! Oh, how relaxing. Say hello to Chamomile. Rescued from a bench near a bunny-hating leaf. Their ideal home is a happy one. Chamomile loves bunnies and things that hop about. This Easter, won't you give Chamomile a try? Today! Oh, even more relaxing, it's Lavender. The 285 million year old rock who was rescued from a giant shark plane. It's just looking for a lovely home with no turbulence. Lavender doesn't get on well with other pets, but it's good with children. So let this fragrant rock into your heart today. The adorably named fish is 35 million years old. They were rescued from a flower garden. This fish out of water needs a loving, colorful home. And thankfully, they get on well with other pets and children. Let fish splash into your heart today! Don't worry, Gordon, your kitchen nightmare is over. You're safe now. 54 million years inside that pink castle can't have been easy. Now then, loving parents, if you have a home stocked with food, you could end adorable little Gordon's nightmare today! Next up is Pat, how about that? 68 million years old and rescued from the side of underwater highway. Pat's ideal home is somewhere cozy. They're okay with other pets, but love fish. Give Pat a pat today. Get your pencils out, it's time for doodles. A 61 million year old rock who was rescued under the seat at a movie theater. Cinephiles to the front of the queue. One simply must pop popcorn with doodles. Pets yes, children yes. So direct a love story with doodles today! Next up is our little snowflake. Unique and sensitive. One billion years old. Snowflake was rescued from a forest covered in snow. A really quite beautiful place, I wish you could have been there. They do not get on well with other pets, but they do get along well with children. If your home is warm and there's love in your heart, please consider Snowflake today! Next up, they're not blue, they're red. 11 million years old and rescued from the peak of a snowy mountain. Red is looking for a home with other pets. Not good with children, but tries anyway. Roses are red, violets are blue. Please let this pet rock cohabit with you today. Please meet the delightful Delilah. 
79 million years of age and found stuck in a hole in a stump. Delilah wiggled free with the help of some olive oil, and now they're looking for a home with a lot of flowers. Let Delilah rock your world today! What is that smell? Ah, it's Belch! 275 million years old and found in Jock Jam's gym bag. Belch is looking for a nice cozy shoebox with ventilation. Pets yes, children no. I've only got one question. Are you ready for this? Today! Next up is Buckles, who's 167 million years old and was rescued from an awkward conversation with a spelling bee. B-U-C-K-L-E-S. Buckles is looking for a home with a lot of picture books. They can't read but enjoy the colors. Pets yes, children yes. So, adorn your love belt with Buckles today. Speaking of spelling bees, this one's hard to spell. It's Colonel. 431 million years old and found in the gut of a whale. Colonel has been washed. Their ideal home is anywhere far from large bodies of water. No swimming trips to the lake, lagoon, river, swimming pool, or ocean. If you can provide our Colonel with a loving and dry home, get in touch today. Our next rock is called Marshmallow. 270 million years old and found stuck to a piece of gum at the mustard sub. Looking at that happy face, you'd never know the trouble they'd seen. Be it bubble or chewing, no gum please. Marshmallow is looking for a clean and organized home. They get on well with clean and organized pets and children. So gumless parents, please love Marshmallow today. Last but by no means least, we've got Kevin. Kevin's a young'un, at only 143,000 years old. Kevin was rescued from Kel's pocket, and their ideal home is a pocket that isn't Kel's. Too many crumbs, I wonder. If you've got room in your pocket, save space for this pocket rocket Kevin, who gets on well with other pets and children. So for the last time tonight, let me say, let Kevin rock your world today! Wow. Thank you guys. Kevin, Kevin has been released. Did Kevin rock your world? Kevin, Kevin is available. Kevin is available. Who will get Kevin? Guys, we've done incredibly. We are taking the slow march towards the finish line. I'm very happy to announce that 60 lonely, heartbroken rocks have found new, loving parents. Kevin is gone. I'm just seeing that Kevin is gone. All rocks have been adopted. We've accomplished it. We've just ticked over into 11K and we are slowly walking to the finish line. Now, um, now is basically our last chance for donations. Um, we're, we're at the final point. It's just about to become 2 a.m. And, you know, just any, any donations that you can give, I'll tell you what we've got is, we've got the posters, two posters for this event and a sticker pack, which you can buy from the Omicat store and all of the profits for that go straight to this charity. Uh, we've got the polls. We've got the Mad Libs, guys. You know the Mad Libs. You were confused by them. I was confused by them, but it makes sense in the end. It's the wallpaper that we're deciding what goes on in the wallpaper. We are commissioning Omicat. We're making Omicat into our slave to do our bidding. You can make your votes on the Mad Lib thing in the poll section of Tiltify now. There is also the paintings. Oh my goodness, the paintings. How long did I spend on those paintings? You must want to donate the world to get them, right? <laughs> right, guys? Well, the top six donators are going to get their pick of the paintings, which I shall be signing and I shall be doing the uh, outlines for. We also have the poll for who is the best character. Guys, who's currently, who's currently top for that? Let me check that. Who's number one for the for the best character?
Oh, no, 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 wait, I've been muted. I've been, how long have I been muted for? No. Okay, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. Guys, so, I don't know how long I was muted for, but let me just say, I wanted to ask you guys, it's been a long journey, it's been a crazy journey, um, but what was your favorite section? Um, let me just backpedal through everything that we've done. We started here all those years ago at 9 p.m. London time, 1 p.m. in somewhere in America. And we went to Mary's picnic. What do you guys think of the picnic? I even ate a lactose enzyme in order to eat those dino clumps. We had a whole chicken, we had the microwave steak, we smashed the targets. We had the toilet ramen, which was delicious. We kept walking. We were going. Oh, here we are. It's only Basil's house. And Basil didn't sell us a single shoe, nor sock. I mean, Basil's not even wearing socks here. I'm not wearing socks either. Um, Basil, we read poems. The poems were beautiful. The poems were powerful. The poems were magical. I really loved the poems. And um, there were so many amazing ones that we didn't even get a chance to read. I thought reading like, you know, I read about 17 poems. I felt like oh, maybe this is going a bit overboard, but they're all so good. So we continued on. Our hearts were broken by the poems and oh boy, then our hearts were opened back up again by these rocks and everyone just immediately just opened their hearts and said, I want that rock. <laughs> Thank you, Kel. That's all I can say. We moved past, we got onto the stump and I flexed my artistic muscles, trying my hardest. Drawing, painting, you know, it was multimedia. Pen, pencil, paint, mixing, webcam issues, freezing webcams, unfreezing webcams. It was beautiful. We also designed a Mad Lib uh, for a wallpaper. And then we did some more rocks. We don't need to talk about that. Oh my goodness. Then we penetrated the mind space of Omori fans and really analyzed and interpreted their dreams. Then we went through that door. Omori didn't sell us a single door. Terrible door salesman. We continued. We moonwalked into the rocks zone. And then, boy, did we go to the mailbox where not only did we receive mail in the written form but we also received VHS's Whew, that's pretty cool I loved those fan videos and all the messages were very heartfelt and very meaningful I'm glad that I could share it with you and then we had the final sale and they went so quick oh boy did those lovely rocks find a home yes they did and now we're at the stage where we're walking to the finish line. Now I could click end stream here, but I believe that we have some stretch goals and perhaps those stretch goals might take place in a little place that I like to call jumping down the hole, also known as black space. Now, I'll let you guys know um, about the special mixtape that is going to be emailed to everybody who donated. People are saying, where's the special mixtape? Where's the special mixtape? It's going to be in your inbox. Now, guys, should I jump or not jump? This is our final chance. Final chance for donations before we are effectively locked in for the stretch goals. And any donations that come in afterwards, then we're going to add that on anyway. Okay. Shall I jump, guys? Uh, I'm seeing a lot of like, don't jump, don't jump. I don't really want to jump. Uh, it's kind of scary, guys. Maybe I just want to finish here. That's fine. Um, also, I'd like to announce that Omocat is going to be matching the donations before I jump. Omocat holding my hands as I lean over the edge of that hole, saying, Look, Callum, you sure you want to do this? I look back to Omocat and I say, 
well, maybe if you match the donations, then I'll jump. And maybe if Omocat matches the donations, we might just unlock something that is a little far away, but would still be fun to do, known as Workout with Pluto. So I'm still, I'm still holding Omocat's hand like, no, don't let me go. I'm looking down into the hole. Sh sh I, I want to jump, but, but I, I don't know if I, I don't know if I should. Guys, should, should I, should I jump? And Omocat says to me, believe in yourself. Don't, don't go. <laughs> um, well. Okay. Maybe I'm going to jump, guys. Guys, I'm going to jump. I'm going to jump. Guys, I'm heading into black space. Are you ready? Can you handle black space? It's a long way down. Do I want to jump? Three, two, one. I'm jumping. Ah! Hello? Um... Who are you? We're here in black space. I'm creeped out. Okay. Guys, we made it to black space. Um, and we've got a bunch of milestones, which we have smashed. We've completely smashed. And look, wearing this eye patch, it feels so bad. The eye patch, like, it's so disorientating. Have you guys ever worn an eye patch before? It's quite something. Okay. Stretch goal. Milestone number one. Bowen Waters Basil. We're about to do it. Get ready, okay? I have here ginormous basil. Fantastic basil. Incredible basil. Now, shall I water thee, O oh Basil? I wish to water ye, and yet I have not any water. Let me go to the bathroom. I shall go to the bathroom, and I shall water this Basil. Okay guys, I have the water. The water is here. Let me move this milestone thing. I hope you enjoy this Basil. I hope you make it better. Basil has been watered. Okay, stretch goal, number two, Bowen reveals skincare routine. <laughs> you guys interested in the skincare routine? Because I'm about to reveal it. This is about to be some strange um, product hype. Products that did not sponsor me, who I shall be giving a big shout out because I use those products. Okay, here we go.
Now look guys, I'm gonna to need to take the eye patch off for this skincare reveal. Wait, why did I take it off and just put it back on? Okay. I don't think you guys knew that you were gonna get a, um, a absolutely strange, cursed, deranged skincare reveal. Now, the first thing I do is, I use this cleanser. This is from Aesop because I am a basic skincare person. Basic yet bougie. Aesop is expensive, but it's not rare. Like everyone knows about it. But, um, so here we go. I'm going to put a little in my hand. This is a cleanser. This is just like, it's almost like a soap, like a beautiful soap. And then I, I, I brush it around. And then I put this on my face. See, this is really good to do before bed, which I'm subsequently going to do because it's 2.15. See, I always get this kind of shit in my hair as well. It ruins my hair. Now, let me move my keyboard so that I can do a little water on my face. I've also got a towel here. So, here we go. Wait, how is this going to work? Maybe I should do like a little wet and then, here we go. So after you, you, you wash off the cleanser. Which this cleanser is a it's called Amazing Face Cleanser from Aesop. It's got mandarin rind, ylang ylang, lavender stem. Uh, those are the ingredients. Now, you always wanna follow up your cleanser with a toner. This is my toner right here from, let's see, what does it say? Premium Gokujun Premium. Now, your toner is gonna to feel a little um, sticky when you put it on and it's going to kind of dry out your face because it's preparing you for the big baller in the skincare game you know it you love it it's the moisturizer the moisturizer comes next now I just got to let that there we go yeah just let that seep into my skin and I'm seeing that we are at $28,000. We are nearly at 30K. The point at which I play the bad ending. But let's just let this toner sink into my skin. Just do its magic, whatever it does. Guys, if someone in, in the chat can tell me what toner does, because I don't actually know what toner does. Okay. That's enough time for me to now pull out my moisturizer, which is also from Aesop. And this is Primrose Facial Hydrating Cream. It's got sage leaf, rosemary leaf, and lavender stem. There you go. Guys, I don't want to do the bad ending, man. It's going to depress me. I don't want to see Omori do that. Like, I don't want to hear my song. I just want to, you know, I just want to live, just want to recover, I just want to chill, you know. Mm. Moisturizer feels the best, I think, you know, like you do the, you do the cleanser and you do the um, toner because it's good for you. But you do the moisturizer because one, it smells good. Two, it feels good. Ah, that's good. All right, now 
I also have an eye cream, but I'm not using it at the moment because it kind of um, messes with my skin. And actually, I think that getting good sleep is better than using an eye cream. So that is my plan going forward. But I do have a final um, little solution, which is this rosehip oil. Now, usually I just buy it from wherever because it's a pretty standard thing. But this one is from a place called The Ordinary. Now, let me get this oil onto my face. It just kind of gives you that sheen and it, it's, it's, it's all good stuff really in the end. Let me get rid of this water. This is, this is good prep for me going to bed. Okay. All right, so you put this in your hands. Ah, thank you for all the donations that are coming in. I'm seeing them now that our uh, overlay is dark and we can see the red text coming. So this rosehip oil is just your final point in the skincare. And it just gives you that gleam. It's just, just makes you pop. And that is my skincare routine revealed. You guys wanted it. It was the number one thing you wanted. That's why we put it as the first milestone. And you got it. That was cleanser. Got to start with the cleanser. Basically just like soaping your face. And this is from Aesop. And it is amazing face cleanser. Followed by the toner. Sometimes I put the toner on straight out of the shower. That feels great. And this is from Premium Gokujan Premium. And then you got to go with a moisturizer. Either some kind of moisturizer or hydrator. I think moisturizer and hydrator are the exact same thing, but they've just created new names for it. Someone in the chat can say what the difference between a moisturizer and a hydrator is, but I don't think there's any difference. And this one is from Aesop, and it is Primrose Facial Hydrating Cream. We're not sponsored by any of these people. And finally, we've got Rosehip Seed Oil from The Ordinary. And that's just your final point. All right. Number one, done. No, number two, done. Next, Bowen shares the My Time Water story. Now, 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 let me tell you a little something about the My Time Water story. Maybe about three years ago, I was called into a meeting in a hotel lobby in London. Now I go into this meeting and there's a bunch of suits there and they say, hey, we're from the uh, London division of, basically it was this Japanese ad agency. It's a worldwide ad agency, but I was working with the Japanese side of it. And some of them were in London for a moment. and. They said, hey, they wanted to call a meeting with me. And this guy comes up to me. I go there and he's wearing a suit. I'm just wearing whatever. I'm just chilling. He shakes my hand and he says, hey, man, let's get you a beer. Get this guy a beer. Sit down. We've got business to talk to you. And he says to me, hey, your song, my time, it's really cool. And we're doing a um, advert for, um, for a water brand. And we think your song, My Time, would go really well with this water brand. And um, it's a pretty popular water brand in Japan. Like when you go to the, um, you know, like the vending machines and you want a water, it's one of the main ones. And it is owned by a certain company, which I won't say, that rhymes with, uh, let's say, Tokotola. And um, they wanted to put my time in um this this store in this advert of like people celebrating and like being like mm, refreshing and like the advert was like all of these little kind of molecules going like bling 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 through all of these little things in this 3d animated and then flying out and then like a big splash and then oh yes and then to me it was just kind of what are you guys are you guys hearing the same song as i'm hearing are you guys crazy? Why on earth does this song feel like it's appropriate for a water advert? Like, 
when Omicat contacted me because I wrote my time before it was used in Amori. Um, it was just a song that I wrote about my life. And Omicat contacted me saying, oh, I like really want to use this song in my game because it fits so perfectly with the story of the game. Now that made sense. But then when Watersuit Advertising Guy came up to me and was like, get this guy a beer. He's going to have a Bex. I didn't want a Bex, but he told me to get a Bex. I mean, they were also going to pay me good money. But then, so, so we keep working together and um, we get to kind of like the final round where um, I'm making like loads of edits. They want me to like change some of the lyrics and stuff like that. Um, and I'm like sending them final versions and we're like going back back and forth with drafts. And I thought, hey, it's kind of crazy. This is cool. Um, and then um, in the final moment, they say, uh, we decided to go with a different song. And then they just pick some like really generic, like kind of like uplifting rock track. So I kind of thought like, hey, that's actually pretty cool that this advertising agency like were kind of interested in what I was doing, even though I just don't think that it was at all relevant to to, to what was going on. But in the end, hey, they, they decided against it. I think they maybe finally came to their senses that like this song is not a happy song about drinking water. So that is the My Time water story. Get this guy a beer. <laughs> Um, but I'll always remember that. I can't remember the guy's name, but he, he was funny. Whew. Imagine, imagine like if this was also in a water advert. Imagine what could have been. All right. So the next milestone, next milestone is... It is Bowen releases his special mixtape. <laughs> Someone in the chat says, wait, the song isn't about water? I mean, everyone is arguing what it's about. So, hey, maybe that's just the third camp. Like some people say it's about. Anyway, moving on. Uh, Bowen releases his special mixtape. That I shall do. Boom. It will be released. What that's going to be is my previous streams. I've like played like little like snippets of unreleased things, unfinished things. Like I've been working on music for so long. So many things kind of don't really go anywhere. I'm not sure if I should, um, you know, oh, should this be on the album? Should it not? This was something I made for a game. It didn't quite work out. There's something I was just working on. I'm going to collate those into a folder and those are going to get sent to everybody who donates today. So if you're in the chat and you haven't donated yet and you want the special mixtape, which is a Space Boyfriend reference, by the way, for you Omori fans, then you should just donate now. Even just like $1, even 50 cents, even one cent, you will get that mixtape of new music. So hey, that's a good, that's a good thing, hey? Right? Right, guys? Right? You know, if you donate like, if you donate $1, then, you know, you get, you get a mixtape. So... That is what we unlocked at 8K. Then we surpassed it. It will be sent to the email used. Yes, 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 yes. So next we surpassed the 10K Bowen performs my time goal. Guys, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna perform it. I'm gonna play the song the song known as My Time. Are you guys ready? Are you guys gonna sing along in the chat? Are you guys gonna type along? Yeah? You ready? So everybody imagine that you are just drinking water, celebrating life, loving life, and um, all right. Let's, let me just delete this emotion because I'm not feeling sad at all. And I shall play for you guys. You know what, I'm gonna turn slow mode off so that you guys can type the lyrics. Ready? There's 2,153 of you guys, so um, I think that you guys can... Uh, slow mode is gonna be disabled. 
Ready? All right, slow mode is off. Do your worst. But wait till I've started, okay? Because I haven't started yet. Let me just re... re I see a little close, 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 close. <laughs> we are free. Close, 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 close. I haven't said close yet. Just wait, I haven't said it. Okay, let me rearrange my mic. Space music is no more. Here we go. Playing with an eye patch. You guys have to sing along. Close. Let's do it like this. Close your eyes. You'll be here soon. me we did it guys i know that it's hard to do that's how we're ending it marry remix marry me marry remix let's go back to black space Woo! that was fun 
All right, guys, now I'm stood up. What do you guys think? I think I need to um, put you guys back on slow mode because you're going too fast. You guys are going, you guys are going wild. Let's see. Edit, live chat, enable snow, s snow mode. Imagine snow mode, that would be nice. We're going back to slow mode. 10 seconds, save. All right, slow-mo cat mode enabled. We are back, guys. Now, let me put on the old black space music. Also this eye patch. I lost the eye patch at a certain point. It's back, it's back, it's back. All right, let me put my ears in as well. We are so tantalizingly close to me playing the bad ending. Ah, everyone's saying encore, 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 encore. Yeah, but if I did an encore, what would I play? I don't have anything to play. Encore, you say? Encore? Encore? What should I play? What should I play? Well, hmm. I do have some songs, actually. I have some new songs that I've been playing around with. Pal Machine, I don't even know if I can remember the... Um... <laughs> even though I put you on slow mode, why are you going so fast? You guys really want me to play Pal on, play on Machine. Huh. Can I play Pal Machine? Maybe I'll try and do a little bit of Pale Machine. I can't even really remember the lyrics. You guys are gonna have to help me out. And I also think that maybe I'll just play a new song that I've been working on. It's an encore. We're, we're going to Sweetheart's Concert Hall. We are playing the concert. We can't just play one song on the piano, you know. I get an itching for more. I can't play final duo, I don't even know how that goes. Yep, you're all sprout moles. Okay guys, I'm gonna try and work out um, Pal Machine. I know it starts in C. Good morning, how's the weather dear? My feelings are so clear, I just woke up today. Eat my corny flakes for you. Just a, mm, just a perfect life. Man, mother, man, mother, blah, blah, blah. Pleasure with every move we make. Perfect every time. Yeah, you know, I can't even really remember how to play that. So maybe I'll just play this new song.
lonely summers I feel the frost is smiling me with love that I don't understand That's as far as I got. That's all I know. I also like to play uh, a little John Legend tune. Ordinary people, you guys know it? Situation phase Right in the thick of love Sometimes we get sick of love Seems like we argue every day And though I misbehaved And we both made mistakes And we both got a long way to go And I bought it I still put you first da 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 to take it slow Cause we're ordinary people Maybe we should take it slow Cause we're ordinary people Maybe we should take it slow Just take it slow Oh, 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 oh. We gotta take it slow Yeah, imagine if John Lennon, John Lennon, John Legend was in Omori. Just imagine that. Okay, well, truth be told, maybe, 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 maybe I was just buying a little bit of time and that's why I played the John Legend song. I'm sorry, guys. Yeah, I played a John Legend song because I wanted us to get to 30k. But hey, if we don't, doesn't matter. We still have Bowen works out with... Pluto. Now look. Look guys, I wish that I could have used my weird broken frozen webcam for this because this was this was the weird webcam moment. Let's see if it's still working. Guys, I'm going to click on the scene, but don't freak out too soon. Let's see if this guy wants to uh, play ball. <laughs> Look at it, it's stuck on Basil. Okay, let's try, let's try an update. Yep. Activate. Activate. Come on, come on, update, update, update. No, stop. Guys, guys, we're in the Pluto's workout zone. Guys, look, bear with me while I get this camera working. Oh my god, here we are. Guys, guys, it's working. Guys, this is everything that I wanted it to be. We're at Pluto's workout. When I flex, I... Oh, it's freezing. It's freezing. Is this workable? <laughs> Maybe it's not workable. Oh my god, I so want to do a workout like this. Guys. This is the Pluto's workout. We're gonna see how this goes. Now, first of all, I'm not wearing gym clothes. I gotta get changed to something a bit more comfortable. Come on, now Sunny doesn't work out, but Amori. Now, Amori works out. That's why we're going for the Amori Black Pack Drop.
look at where it's frozen. All right, I'm using my other webcam. Let's turn this one off. Next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna do, we're gonna do 100 jumping jacks. Have you ever seen anyone do 100 jumping jacks before? I think that that is gonna break a world record. Ready? Everyone, get up! I see you typing in chat. If you're typing in chat, you're not working out. I want to see pure silence in chat because we are working out with Pluto right now. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. to 30k it was all worth it we did it guys okay but you still have to do the setups we're still doing the setups so we're gonna do we're gonna do um we're gonna do look at my eyes look i look insane we're gonna do 20 sit-ups guys okay get down here with me no typing in chat no celebrating about the 30k all right we're doing setups Bad ending. We reached it. Alright guys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Everybody, I'm gonna need you to do press-ups now. I know the first time round you just thought that I was saying, hey, everyone get up, everyone do the push-ups, stop typing in chat, but I actually need you to do these ten push-ups, okay? You're gonna do it with me, you're gonna feel great. Pluto says do it, so you don't wanna you don't wanna deny Pluto. Alright, here we go. Number two. Okay, 
tell you guys, I feel amazing. And that concludes Pluto's workout. At the end of a workout, we always do a meditation. And we sit in meditation for 30 seconds in pure silence. And everybody, just tell me your goals for this year. I want to know your goals. I want to know your positive vibrations. I want to know what you're feeling, what you're going to do. I know that you guys did this. So everyone just write down your goals while I meditate for 30 seconds. Ready? Okay. Go for it. Okay, that felt good. All right. Guys, I think it's time to leave Pluto's gym. Pluto, can we please leave? Will you let us out, please? Please, Pluto. Please. We've done, we did. Oh, look at all your goals. Everybody's... Everybody's saying their goals, that's nice. Somebody wants to have 4,000 cats. All right, we're going back to black space. Okay. Release me, Pluto. <sighs> okay, guys. Bloom, bloom, bloom. Wow. I wish, I wish you guys all uh, incredible luck in your future. We've all worked really hard. We did our press ups, we did our meditation. Now, the only thing left to do is to play the bad ending. We're doing it, we did it guys. Thanks so much for your, um, for all your donations. We're doing an amazing thing today. Everyone should be really proud of themselves for sticking with me, for witnessing everything, for enjoying tonight for um, donating, engaging, adopting rocks, everything. All right, it's time to open Steam and I hope that there's not an update. All right, Steam, Omori, play. Now I've got a save file, which is just before the thing. Ah, uh, okay, 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 okay. Um, so let's get rid of the milestone thing. All right, here we go. Here's the game. And let me turn off the old uh, black space music. Guys, it's just like the old days. I'm playing the game. Guys, I, I thought I was just like a just chatting kind of streamer, but now that I'm playing games again, I remember games. Games are fun. Okay. All right, then. How's that looking? Can you guys hear the game? Boom, 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 boom. You can hear that, right? Everyone in chat, let me know if you can hear it. You can't hear it? You can't hear the game? All right, well, let me just do some little tinkering around. Um... Window capture. No. Would be an old, ah, I remember how to do this. So, um, I need to go boom. Now you can hear it, right guys? Wait, 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 wait. Now you, c now? Now can you hear it? How about now? And how about now? And how about... <laughs> huh. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, bear with me, please. Precious people. While I... Okay, monitor and output. Hmm. 
What about now? What about now? Can you hear? Can you hear? Can you hear? Can you hear? Desktop audio. I need desktop audio. Oh, that's so annoying. Um, how do I add desktop audio, everybody? I think that it needs to be... Hmm. Settings, settings. Let me put back on black space music. Okay, I can figure this out. I've just meditated, so of course I can figure this out. Now is double. <laughs> I think I need to go on sound settings. Sound settings. I'm new to Windows. I'm on Windows 10 now. I used to be a Mac person, but not anymore. Okay, how about... Okay, now... Guys, guys, I think I did it. I think I did it. Guys, can you hear it now? I did it. I did it. I did it. Come on. Yes, come on. Here we go. I'm a Windows genius. All right. Should I go for new game? Haha. <laughs> do a speed run, complete the game right now. All right. Guys, we did it. I'm going for continue and I need backstage. My 33 hour game. Oh man, I can't even remember how to play a game. So, here we go. We believe in you, Callum. Here I am, going up to the, to the stage. Ready to play an empty music stand. Do you want to place down your sheet music? Yes. You place the sheet music onto the music stand. What happens if I don't actually manage to get the bad ending? <laughs> People in the chat saying, get this guy a beer. You're not wrong. I don't really like beer actually. Ah, here we are. We did it. We unlocked it. turn the lights out. I'm going to put on the eye patch. Get this man a violin. Um, it should be obvious, but the, this is big, big time spoilers. 100% spoilers from this point on. So in case anyone who is in here hasn't ever played the game before, maybe you should switch off right now. You know what? No, don't worry. I was gonna turn slow mode off, but um, I would regret it. Get this man a violin. <laughs> ah, back in white space. Huh? Oh boy, it's you. Hello. Guys. I'm 
Okay. So... Do I just run now? Or... How do I get the bad ending? I think I'm just... I'm just... I'm neutral good. I'm already good. Um, there's no way I can get the bad ending. So do I attack? Or skill... Where's my skill to give up? I will be very careful. Just fight. What do I do? Just attack and lose. Okay. Everyone's worried about me holding the knife. Okay. Yeah, screw you, Amori. It's me, Sunny. I'm gonna kill you. Wait. Ah! You should just die. Oh. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I've got game over now. Do you want to retry? So I say no now. I don't want to retry. <laughs> or did I just, um, did I just totally mess it up? Virtual hug to everyone. Violin. Well, I'm really glad I've seen this. Sonny has morphed into Amori. Oh, at least they hugged. Now what? Welcome to White Space. No more Sunny. R.I.P. Sunny. I'm just a Mori now. You've been living here for as long as you can remember. Tissue box for wiping your sorrows away. Meow. Waiting for something to happen. I guess I just um started the game again. I think this is just the beginning of the game. Let's look at the sketchbook. Pretty cool sketches. Nothing compared to my paintings though. Just a bunch of static. There's no light bulb here. Oh man, there's no chance. There's no redemption. Oh, can't I run, run away? Uh, hands. Guys, guys. I'm gonna go through the door, okay? I don't even have the stab option. I cannot stab. I am wearing the fedora. Guys, are you ready for me to go through the door? A white door casts a faint shadow. I'm gonna open the door, guys. shaped hole. Okay guys, I'm going to 
take you guys off of slow mode. Don't make me regret it. Edit, live chat, slow mode is off. Ready? Okay, you guys are free right now. I wanna see how much you enjoy this ending. Okay, moving on. Let's go up the stairs. Just climb the stairs. You see this, Omori at this stage, he's just chosen to repress the whole thing. Sss, waiting for something to happen. Where is my food? Oh, it started again. It's becoming creepy. Guys. Um, maybe I'll go back. Huh? Well, maybe if I go back a few times, it'll just let me go back. But, but, but the snake forgot to give me the clams. It's a long way down. Do you want to jump? I literally have chills right now. Guys, we're doing it. We're jumping. Close your eyes, you'll be here soon. It's Jesus. That's okay, lad. No. I mean, don't tell me there's a splat. I don't want to see the splat. Just a jump. Whew. Here's the thing. That song is actually about water, so I don't really know why they use that at the end of this game, but... uh. Guys, we did it. Guys, I've seen the bad ending. <sighs> Why? I really don't want that to happen to my boy, my sonny, my Amori. <laughs> uh, this was an incredible journey. Let's see. How much have we earned? We have made. Okay, tiltify.com. Let us. $272.30 for Stop AAPI Hate. Thank you guys so much. This is like just crazy. Um, I'm taking this damn eye patch off. Guys, we did it. It was incredible. Thanks everyone for sticking by me. Thank you so, so much. I'll go back to a bit of a, a nicer place. Look, we're here. This is a bit nicer, isn't it? Okay. Um, look, there is one more goal, which look, hey. I don't, I don't. 
We're probably not going to make the, the goal, but if the chat goes absolutely wild, hey, why don't we just play the me, Omocat, the whole Amori team singing good morning version? You know, we didn't, we didn't quite make it, but if chat goes wild right now, we'll do it anyway, you know? We've made more than enough. It's been like a total success. It's been incredibly fun. It's been a total marathon. Chat is going pretty wild. It's not quite wild yet. I can still read all of your individual messages. Go more, 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 more. Okay, chat has actually crashed. So maybe that is pretty wild. Shall we do it? You know what? First, I should announce who has won the, um, the poll. So let's, let's close the polls. Let's close the, let's close Tiltify so we get the final results. Okay, I can now announce to you guys that best Omori character as voted on by you, number one is Aubrey. Number two is Kel. Number three, Basil. Then it was so close for fourth and fifth. But Omori just tipped it in fourth place. And Hero, my hero, is number five. But congratulations, Aubrey. You are officially, for now and forever, the best Omori character of all time. And nobody can argue with that. That is set in stone. Next, we have our Mad Lib. And I think I can just read that to you now. The Mad Lib is the wallpaper. You guys know about that wallpaper. You'll be seeing it after Omicat slavishly works away at it. Now, let me, let me see if I can make sense of this. So, I shall read it to you right now. Ah, a day. And a day it was. On this lovely day in other world, we observe Mary sporting a... Cat ears! We got cat ears. And Basil, equipped with a bunny ears, nearly seer goggles, playing with air horns, together at a picnic. Over her, overhead, Mr. Jawsome busts through the sky at an alarming rate. Uh, then Biscuit and Dougie, who's Dougie, frolic without a care whilst eating their favourite snack. And their favourite snack is dilulu, 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 Life Jam. It really works. Um, next, Rococo cries while watching everyone having fun from behind a bush. In the distance, a horde of Humphrey. Simply a horde of Humphrey plan their attack. Oh yeah. And, oh, it's so close. So close between Hot Diggity Dog and something. Oh, and something is there too. We've done it. That is gonna be you guys' uh, wallpaper. I can't wait to set my desktop background with that wallpaper. Um, Omicat, time for you to make it. Now, um, I don't know if I can also see and announce the top bidders. Let's see. Can I do that? I don't know how to do that. But if you're in the top six, you will be contacted about these um, paintings, which will be signed, which will be finished. And you will be sent. Everybody who has donated, even one dollar, will be sent the special mixtape. Now, guys... It's time to end the stream. Everybody go crazy in the chat. Type everything and anything. I want to see the chat just going like wild. And then maybe I think that we should probably play the thing that we didn't quite unlock, but let's just do it anyway. You guys ready? I'm seeing some wildness in the chat. Thanks so much. It's been amazing. Good night, everybody. Or should I say, good morning. One more day.
Thank you. 